contrary to the word of God, y'all. So nobody innocent in this thing. Some people, they find God, all of a sudden, they became super, super holy. Even he tell you in that point, still, you're writing like what? Filthy rag. Understand, every day we got to do this according to the word of God, brothers and sisters. And what he told us to do, don't add to it. And don't take nothing away from it. And we're not going to do that today. I'm not going to add nothing to it. It's going to be on the table. Y'all got the Bible. They got a cheat sheet down here. They gave everybody down here a cheat sheet. I'm a cheat. I don't know what place I know to get a cheat sheet. <laughs> you look around, y'all know the scripture better than I do. <laughs> God, dog, it's all good. Don't we pray, God. That's what we do. We came together so we can get together, brothers and sisters. That we can come together and serve our God. Have he been good to us, y'all? Yeah. He's been good, y'all? Yeah. Oh, he's been good. You better say it. He's been good. Yeah. We got nothing. Like you say, you ain't got nothing to complain about. I know we're going to go through our own suffering, but we don't think about the suffering of Christ, though. Peter tried to stand with him, but he couldn't take that punishment. He had to bag down. Oh, I'm, I'm riding down with you, Lord. I'm going to be with you. He said, ain't that him right there, boy? Y'all don't get away from me. I don't know that man. He saw that persecution, brother. So you're going to go through it. So let's go to the first scripture. You read the law. You right. You always, they always do that down here, though. I do that down here all the time, though. I got to go ahead and rehearse that stuff right now. Talk to Pedro. Do the law. Let me write that down. <laughs> Every time I come down, it seems like I get amnesia. <laughs> All right, now, first thing we're going to do, brothers and sisters, without further ado, we're going to read this law in Jesus' name. And turn with me, if you will, to Exodus, the 20th chapter. Pick it up, verse 1. Exodus 20, verse 1, because we're going to stick to the page. Like I say, sometimes you have to come out your own mind sometimes thinking you know what's right and what you need to do. But this Bible, like I say, it is the boss. This Bible dictates everything. It's God's word. Through his son, who? Jesus. Jesus. Pick it up in verse 1, brother. And God spake all these words, saying, What did he say? I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. 
Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land, which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. So now let's go to Ecclesiastes 12. We're going to pick it up at 13. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Go ahead and read, brother. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Read that one more time, so I don't think they heard you in the back. Make sure they understand this. The whole duty of man is what? To fear God yes, and sir. keep his commandments, uh -huh. for this is the whole duty of man. Uh -huh. For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. I'm going to read that 14 again. For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil, brothers and sisters. Let's go to Revelation, 22nd chapter. We have to reinforce these commandments, brothers and sisters, because there ain't no secret thing before God. God see everything. That's right. We got to stop playing ourselves. You think he don't see you. Well, he see, he see me too. When I leave here, he watching me too, y'all. He ain't sitting out like I'm going to leave here and go somewhere and do something else. He watching me when I get to the house. He don't going to preach that message. You going to go do what? No, I don't think so. We don't do it like that. Like I say, my motto at home now is leave the house holy and come back holy. Yes. <laughs> Let's finish this off in 14 and 15, bro. Go ahead. Bless the day that do his commandments. Yes, sir. That they may have right to the tree of life. Uh-huh. And may enter in through the gates into the city. Mm -hmm. For without a dogs and sorcerers, and whoremongers, and murderers, and idolaters, and whosoever loveth, and make it a lie. And make it a lie, brothers and sisters. So we read commandments to you. It's your duty to keep them. Like somebody said, we deliver the mail, we deliver the word. It's up to you to keep the word, brothers and sisters. I pray that you do it, for we can let collectively be in the kingdom of God. That's what the main thing is about. Getting salvation with the Father and the Son. Now, now we finished that, right? We good, brother? Yeah, we good. He's looking down. He don't even hear what I'm saying. <laughs> we good, man. We good. All right. I want to check on the corner over there. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go to Psalm 1914. 1914. I ain't mean to put you on the spot like that. But anyway, let's go to Psalm. Let's go to that Psalm 1914. Because I always read this, brothers and sisters, because this is essential in your daily walk. When you get off track with that mind, you got to draw it back, dealing with God. Watch your mouth, too. This is everyday life. This ain't sometimes. It's all day, every day. Go ahead and pick it up at verse 14. 19 and 14. 19 and 14. Psalm 19 and 14. If I get too fast, let me know. I slow it down. I know y'all got the notes, so just let me know if I go too fast. So. Go ahead and read, brother. Let the words of my mouth uh -huh. and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen, brother. And that's what we do every day, brothers and sisters. Be mindful that your mind comes in subjection to God. And your mouth comes to uh, subjection to God. Because sometimes you get out there in life and people turn you another way. But I'm telling you, sometimes you run into people, but they make you want to woo weep. They do. So you got to watch your mouth even at that point. You got to think that you don't hurt nobody either because sometimes that come on your mind. Right. You got to be mindful of that, brothers and sisters. Are we out there in the flesh of the world? And that's why the Lord said we got to deal with temperance, y'all. Got to be temperate. That's the fruit of the spirit, right? Mm -hmm. They just song about that. Be temperate, y'all. Now, let's go further, brother. Praise God. Praise God. Mark, the first chapter. I know what I, I was a little late. I'm going to get y'all through the day now. I ain't going to keep y'all all day. 
Y'all look at that be like, boy, he done came late, but he gonna try to keep us here all day. But don't say that. <laughs> say that to me, boy, I'm gonna take my time now. Yeah. I'll do it. <laughs> all right now, let's go. <laughs> all right, Brother Mark. Mark, first chapter. You're gonna pick it up, verse one, y'all. Okay. All right, verse one, we'll wait till you get there. So we're gonna read this gospel. Yes, sir. All right, brother, get that, go ahead and read. The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, uh -huh. the Son of God. Yes, sir. As it is written in the prophets, behold, I send my messenger before thy face, mm -hmm. which shall prepare thy way before thee. Mm -hmm. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Yes, sir. John did baptize in the wilderness and preached the baptism of repentance for the remissions of sins. He said the baptism of repentance for what? The, rem the remission of, of sins, sins, brother, sister, and that's what we come to do. We come to understand through that baptism, our sins were remitted. We came out with a clean slate, y'all. The whole point we're trying to do is not mess it up. Clean slate. You don't want it. Like I tell everybody, I hate wearing white. By the time you get a piece of dirt on that white boy, if it's smudge up to that, that, that pile will get bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. I'd walk around my book on my chair like this. Y'all know how I be you get that white dirty boy, you feel so bad, boy, everybody looking at you. I, you know, I think you, you, know, you know you got a black spot on that, don't you? And that's what we're talking about, your garments, keeping your garments white, brother and sister. Staying away from sin. And that's the whole point we're dealing with today. That's why we come to chat Sabbath on Sabbath day. Right. To come collectively to hear about the word of God. That's right. And that's why people so off center, because guess what? They want to obey the commandment dealing with the Sabbath day. If they come to the Sabbath day, they'll understand that you ain't supposed to be dealing with no Easter. But they're not coming to receive that, though. It's just about what somebody taught them before. And that's the thing that the Lord said, he's going to get the old preacher, y'all. Mm -hmm. I told people a whole lot of lies. I was at the airport talking to this lady. But she was spirit down. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Lord's spirit. He moving with the energy and all that. Okay, then. How y'all doing, sisters? <laughs> you know, I'm just out here for you to do a clear down the bedroom. I pop pie y'all. Put that, 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 that little card on them. Right, right. You got to keep the commandments keep that Sabbath day. Right. Change the subject. <laughs> Went from holy to something else. Yep. That's why I know she had talked to somebody. Mm. Somebody got her head when she thinking she can do whatever she want to do. And make it to the kingdom of God. And that's what's going around now, brother and sister. That's the mindset going on now. You do whatever you want to do, and you're going to come to Christ any way you want to come to it. No, you can't come as you are, brother and sister. Change got to take place. So now, skip down to verse 14 to read, my brother. Now, after that John was put in prison, uh -huh. Jesus came into Galilee, mm -hmm. preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God. Yes, sir. And saying, the time is fulfilled. Uh -huh. The kingdom of God is at hand. Uh -huh. Repent ye and believe the gospel. So he told you repent. Mm -hmm. Turn from your wicked ways and your righteous thoughts, brothers and sisters, and return to Christ. And that's what it's all about. Get away from all that wickedness. Cause we got a thought for it, but I thought something else. Sometimes they run crazy now. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm thinking about something I dealt with somebody I dealt with 20 years ago. She old and I'm old. Ain't nothing we can do. <laughs> so what are we thinking? Why I'm thinking about that for? I moved on my life, I moved on my life, but them thoughts still coming in my head. And I got to rebuke that thought every time it come up. I know I ain't the only one. And that's where they get folks. Go back on Facebook, see somebody you ain't seen about 30 years, all of a sudden they come in, ooh, I miss you, you ain't never known me. <laughs> How you gonna miss me, they ain't seen you in 30 years. We just talking about the trap that Satan set up, y'all. Right. Understand, it's a trap. Right. They get you all center for what you're doing for Christ. They come in your life and they disappear. I'm going to say it every time I see y'all. They come in your life and they're going to disappear. Right. Exactly how I work. So now, he said what? Believe the gospel, right? That's right. He said believe the gospel. So believe is to accept something as true, full, sure of the truth of. Fully sure, excuse me, fully sure of the truth of. So you got to believe in Christ. We're going to read about it. You got to believe that Jesus died for your sin. You got to believe in everything he said in his book. That's why we're reading it today. But let's keep going, though. Let's go. Hebrews 11th chapter. I'm finna read about it. Hebrews 11th chapter. I'm finna read about it. Can't make no blanket, blanket statement when it comes to God. You better prove all, prove all things. That's what it say? That's right. Hold fast that that is good, which is good. That's right. All right. We're going to pick it up one and two. Hebrews 11th. Like I said, we gonna, well, we, hey, like I said, I wait on it. We got to get this word together, brothers and sisters. But this thing is serious. Dead serious. Because you don't know when you're going to die. 
I don't know why we think we got a given that you make it every Sabbath class. But the Lord blessed us to do that, right? Glory be to God. Be able to see the same faces every Sabbath day. When you're seeing death all in the world. But you made it from the trip to the gas station. Amen. You better say it. Amen. Amen. Y'all understand what's going on in the gas station. I'm saying they the killing field, especially the left. They out there shoot out everything at the gas station. You go to share one from gas, boy, you might not, you might come out dead. And that's what them angels are all about, protecting y'all. You understand the significance of an angel? He protects you from all evil. Pick it up in verse 1 and read, brother. Now faith is the substance of things hoped. Yes, sir. The evidence of things not seen. Uh-huh. For by it the elders obtain a good report. Skip down to verse 6 and read. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Uh-huh. So without faith is what? Impossible, impossible to please Jesus, brother. So sometimes you against the wall, you got to have faith that the Lord is going to bring you through. Even with the pain, all the different diseases we have on us, we still pray to the Lord that he deliver us. And if we don't, guess what we're going to do? We're going to have faith to the end that we'll be able to be ushered into his kingdom. Amen. But go ahead and keep reading the verse. Skip down to verse 6 and keep reading. Well, keep reading. I'm sorry. Go ahead. For he that cometh to God yes, must believe sir. that he is. You got to what? Believe. You got to believe it, brother. You got to believe that Jesus died for your sin. You got to believe that he shed the blood for you. Passover. We're talking about the Passover. He's, he bad. He covered you in your sin. He remitted all your sin, what you've done in the past. That's why I say, boy, you get out the water. I tell him, I go to the baptism pool. I got the water. That water was mud. But I had so much on me, boy. I'm telling you, I thank God for the liberty. And I'm telling you, like I said, it was like, well, I mean, think about what you've done when you got into that Passover pool, brothers and sisters. Right. Think about all that stuff that he delivered you from. When you were enemy to your own mind, you was the enemy in your own mind to yourself. But all the sins you were doing. Right. I thought it was all good to do what I was doing. Until the Lord brought me to understand that, hey, I'm headed straight to the lake of fire. And that's when I realized, hey, I got to do something. I got to change. I gotta, I'm got i turning to Jesus. Like I said, it's like a poker hand. I put all my chips in. I ain't got no more. It's just that simple. I'm putting all this on Jesus. That's right. Now, you through with that, brother? No, we're right at the end. Go ahead. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek so him. So now you got to keep diligently seek him because he's going to reward you with a crown. In a white robe, brother, sister, that's what the end game is. Not to say I got a couple friends in church. I just showed up at church. Now you just church folk. You got to live this word. Some people show up to church because of the unity in the church. No, it's about you getting salvation. Amen. That's what it's all about, y'all. Right. This ain't no, hey, so how you doing, man? What's going on, brother? No, you better be trying to get some of this salvation. That's, right. that's how I was. You got a nice dress. Oh, I like the way your head wrap. Oh, none of that. We're talking about salvation, y'all. And that's what it's all about. Ain't nothing personal. It's about business. That's what Jesus said. Right. It's about business. That's right. Now, let's go further, brother. Let's go to that Leviticus 23rd chapter. Let's read to this Passover. Because one thing Paul brought that nobody paid no attention, he brought Melchizedek. Mm -hmm. You want to know who Melchizedek was unless Paul brought him. That's right. And we finna read about it. Like I said, let's go there. Uh, I'm telling y'all, I, I, I can't even find it. 23, we're going to pick it up first one, brother. All right, everybody there. Go ahead and read, brother. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Go ahead. Speak unto the children of Israel, and uh -huh. say unto them, Yes, sir. Concerning the feast of the Lord. Yes. Which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocation. Uh -huh. Even these are my feet. He didn't say nothing about no Jewish feet. He didn't say nothing about that. Everybody talking about the Jew feet. No, it's not. He said, these are whose feet? These Lord. are my feasts. That's why we deal with them, because they're the Lord's feasts. Go ahead and read. Six days shall work be done, uh -huh. but the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest. Uh -huh. In holy convocation, ye shall do no work therein. It is the Sabbath of the Lord in all your dwellings. So now we're talking about the holy convocation. That's how you get information. That's how we learn how to serve God. Through what? Holy through the Sabbath day. In other words, you wouldn't get no teaching nowhere else on the Sabbath. You know we got Bible study and that kind of thing, but we coming before him on this day. He fixing us up. He looking at our head. He tuning us up, brother and sister. Mm -hmm. Y'all think he don't see what's on your mind right now? Whatever you got in mind, you better tighten it up because you looking dead in your head. That's why I said I tell you, boy, you better understand what's going on around him. He know if you want to be here or you don't want to be here. That's right. 
He know that. You can't fake the funk, brother, sister. Right. Not when it comes to the Lord, you can't. You look holy all you want to. But I always make this not like you said, your body here will be, but your body. It's on the other side of town. Y'all better stop messing the Lord around. This ain't no joke. Stop playing. Stop playing. Stop playing, church. This thing dead serious. Keep reading, brother. Verse 4. Yes, sir. These are the feasts of the Lord. Uh-huh. Even holy convocations, which he shall proclaim in their season. So this is season what? The Passover. Right. That's what we coming up on the season of Passover, brother and sister. You know, they're living out your house with represent sin. Get all that living out your life that represents sin. That's what it's all about. Become a new creature, a new lump before God. Because we know we got some things we're dealing with. You ain't got to tell me. I don't need to know. I just pray to God you get in the order before Christ come back. That's all, I, that's all I pray. That we can see each other in the kingdom one day. Like I said, it'd be a shame. I come in all the time free. Wherever at? You look over there, I'll be in the leg of fire. God forbid, y'all. I'm just saying, God forbid. See everybody all this time. You peeking, you go look and see you over there. Oh man, I thought John was doing pretty good. <laughs> Why Susie over there? Man, that ain't nothing. But I'm telling you, that's an episode I don't want. The part of me, you, you, uh, what did say? The part of me, you work with us, Nick. I never knew you. It's too late in the game to hear that, y'all. That's the end time. You ain't got time to get it right. That's why I preach so hard on it, because I got to. Because I understand where I was at that time. Yeah. Wasn't hearing no word, man. I wasn't nobody coming to me with Jesus. Boy, you don't get out of my face, boy. I'm about to, about to bust your teeth out your mouth. <laughs> well, it's not no name of Jesus. But at the same time, the Lord allowed me to live, brother, so, so I can see this thing clearly now. Yeah. Keep reading, brother. Verse 5. Yes, sir. In the 14th day of the first month, okay. evening, is the Lord's Passover. It's the Lord's Passover. And that's what he's telling. That we finna deal with the Lord Passover. And we're gonna see how it came about. We're gonna deal with the Passover, deal with Exodus 12, and we're gonna read all the way into the New Testament. We're gonna show you what it represents today. So now, let's go to Exodus 12 chapter. Let's read about this Passover, y'all. Because the Lord is covering us from our sins. And that's what he's showing us. Because we like sheep going astray, y'all. And the Lord is our shepherd. If you do what he say, you shall not want. Notice I said, if you do what he say and what he command, you shall not want. Pick it up at verse 1. Go ahead and read. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, Yes, sir. This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. Uh -huh. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Uh -huh. Speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, in the tenth day of this month, in the tenth day of this month, they shall take to them every man, a, every man a lamb, according to the house of their fathers, mm -hmm. a lamb for a house. So now he tell you, he said, this month shall be unto you the beginning of the month. So whatever they had this past month, then what that was, New Year? That didn't deal with the Lord's New Year, right. according to the Word of God. Everybody got shot. Everybody was shooting in the air. Some people got shot. Everybody got drunk. Everybody said you lay with the first person you slept with. You supposed to be with them. Y'all done heard that. Uh, yeah, they said that. Yeah. First person you end up sleeping with, that who you supposed to be with. The rest of the year, I ran from a girl one time trying to get me caught up in that. <laughs> but I ain't gonna be with y'all no, no. Oh no, I ran from that one. I said, but no, I don't think I'm gonna do that. I see you later. I got somewhere to go. <laughs> I couldn't see it, but I couldn't see it, y'all. <laughs> I couldn't see. It. But let's go further, brother. Let's go further. Y'all understand this how this thing work out here, y'all. Pick it up, brother. Pick it up at verse 5 and go ahead and read. Your lamb shall be without blemish. Yes, sir. A male of the first year. Uh-huh. You shall take it out from the sheep or from the goats. Yes, sir. And you shall keep it up until the 14th day 14th of the same day. month. So now you got to have some kind of order with this. Right. Can't go buy a lamb from the store like these other Hebrews talking about, well, I'm going to give me a lamb from the store. You ain't know if it's a dog. It might be a goddamn Drake name or something. <laughs> you don't know what kind of meat you get. You ain't see it grow up or do nothing. All you see is just a little feet on it and it's tied together. <laughs> You don't see no insides of it. And you see a head, like you said, you don't know what it is. And that's what, what we always say. If you're going to do wrong, do wrong right. right. That's why we're sticking with the book. Go ahead and read, brother. And the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening. Kill it in the evening. 
And they shall take of the blood uh -huh. and strike it on the two side posts. Yes, sir. And on the upper door posts of uh -huh. the houses, wherein they shall eat it. So now you're looking at something that's really gory. You got to go out there. And you got to cut it. Well, you got to get the blood. Listen here, the blood. And dip it. And put it over your door post, which signifies, signifies faith or dealing with, or dealing with keeping you from being passed over from getting destroyed by that evil angel. But let's keep reading it, though. Go ahead. And they shall eat the flesh in that night. So they're going to eat the flesh at night? Roast with fire. Uh-huh. And unleavened bread. And unleavened bread. And with bitter herbs they shall eat it. Uh-huh. Eating out of it raw. That's right. Nor sodden at all with water. Uh-huh. But roast with fire. Uh-huh. His head with his legs. And with the pertinence thereof. So you got to have the insides in it. So you got to do all that according to what the word is saying. This is what the book saying, right? That's right. So you got to do that all according to the book. So we're looking at, he tell you, you got to keep the pertinence in it. You got to roast it. You can't sodden it. You can't do none of that. You go do it just like the Lord said. But well, we're going to get into a new and living way. There's a new testament. But let's deal with this first. Skip down the verse 10 and read. And ye shall let nothing of it remain until the morning. Uh huh. And that which remaineth of it until the morning, ye shall burn with fire. Yes, sir. And thus shall ye eat it. Uh huh. With your loins girded. Loins girded. And your shoes on your feet. Shoes on your feet. And your staff in your hand. Uh huh. And ye shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. So this is what the Lord's Passover on the first. That beginning what of the year in a bill. That's right. And we're gonna be taking it this coming Monday at sundown. So we finna go ahead and go into it about how we get to the point with the bread and wine. But let's keep reading this right here. Go ahead and read. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night. Yes, sir. And will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt. Egypt, right? Both man and beast. Uh-huh. And against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. Go ahead. The Lord. And the blood shall be to you for a token of blood. Be for blood token to your housing. Where you are. Where you are. And when I see the blood. When he see who? The blood. So right now, we ain't talking about seeing nobody. He ain't saying about your name. He talking about you got to be covered in the blood of Christ. And that's what he's talking about, the precious blood of Christ. That's why he died for us, brothers and sisters. Judgment's coming on this world. Mm -hmm. You best believe that. It's coming. You just don't want to be a part of it. You want to be covered in the blood of Jesus. That's right. Well, that, 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 like you said, that death angel passed right over you. Now, keep reading, though. And when I see the blood. When you see the blood. I will pass over he you. He said, I'm going to pass over you, brothers and sisters. Go ahead. And the plague shall not be upon you. It ain't going to be upon you. To destroy you. To destroy you, brothers and sisters. And that's what we're dealing with. That's why we got to clean ourselves selves up. That's why we got to keep commandments and do what God say do. It ain't about this flesh. Like I said, in the best day, your flesh is still going to stink. If I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> that's what's going to happen. In this flesh, you still going to get sick. So much for the flesh. Right. That's why I have to make sure I say that. Some people put more glory in their body trying to deal with God. And that's all about that. I ain't trying to pick nobody, pick on nobody either. But you need to recognize what you're doing because I don't seen the age. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't see when them teeth start popping out, you ain't did that wrong. You know? Somebody hit you in your mouth and teeth gone here and there. <laughs> or you have a giant stomach. Your stomach look like it was, I had a sick thing, don't look like yesterday. Get out of control. So I'm just letting you know this body changes. Yeah. Body changes. That's why I always say when I heard sir, I knew it was over. <laughs> How you doing, sir? I said, Lord, I know it's over. <laughs> so you hear sir. You hear that, sir? You in old hood. You understand that? Where we at, brother? The end of 13. Go ahead and keep reading. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you. That's right. It won't be upon you to destroy you. When I smite the land of Egypt. Go ahead. And this day shall be unto you for a memorial. So this is a memorial, memorial coming up, brothers and sisters. It says the high Sabbath. So this is a memorial. To give us to understand what the Lord did for us. And give us to understand what we need to do now. Right. Go ahead. And ye shall keep it a feast to the Lord. So he said you shall keep it a feast to the Lord. Throughout your generation. Throughout your generation. You shall keep it a feast by an ordinance and forever. You say you shall keep it by a feast of what? For all this, this for whatever. Ever, 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 ever. Now, let's skip down. Skip down to verse 21 and read, brother. Go ahead. Then Moses called for all the elders of Israel and said unto them, uh -huh. Draw out and take you a lamb according to your family. Uh -huh. And kill the Passover. And kill what? The Passover lamb. Go ahead. And you shall take a bunch of hyssop. The hyssop. And dip it in the blood that uh -huh. is in the basin. Go ahead. And strike the lintel. And the two side posts with the blood that is in the basin. Yes. And none of you shall go out at the door of his house until the morning. So now you couldn't even go outside until the morning. Because that deaf angel was killing everybody. The only safety you had in your house. 
Just right now, brothers and sisters. If you walk out from under God, boy, say this, waiting on him. We just letting you know. Can't change this thing up. Do what you want to do. Nope. You in to the end. Ain't no way out. When you sign this covenant with God, and you got baptized in Jesus' name, it's for Elvin. I can't add no more. Elvin, Elvin. <laughs> Elvin, 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 brother and sister. That's how long it is. You can't jump out this thing no fast. I see no true religious jeans. You ain't, don't even wear them no more. <laughs> so much for fashion. I'm just talking about it. this ain't no fair. This is life. Straight life till you die. So now, let's go further, bro. Let's go to Matthew, the 26th chapter. Read more on this. 26. And we're going to pick it up verse 1. Because we're dealing with the Passover, y'all. Dealt with them when it comes to dealing with Israel. In Exodus 12, we're going to take it to the New Testament. But we're going to walk it in. Because it's all about Jesus, y'all. It's all about Jesus. Twenty-six, brother. We're gonna pick it up at verse one. Get that, brother. Go ahead and read. And it came to pass when yes. Jesus had finished all these sayings, uh -huh. he said unto his disciples, "Yeah, he say, you know that after two days is the feast of the Passover, uh -huh. and the Son of Man is betrayed to be crucified." He said the day of the Passover, and he's gonna be crucified. That's right. All right. Skip down, brother. To verse 17 and read. Now the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread. So now he said something different than going to the wording. He said, now the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, go ahead and read. The disciples came to Jesus, uh -huh. saying unto him, What wilt thou that we prepare for thee to eat the Passover? So now he said, so he said the Feast of Unleavened Bread, don't he? But he said a mix up here, we understand he's talking about the Passover. He's going to let us know he's talking about the Passover. Go ahead and read it, brother. And he said, Go into the city to such a man uh -huh. and say unto him, The master said, My time is at His hand. His time is at hand. I will keep the Passover uh -huh. at thy house with my disciples. And he says it again. I'm going to keep the Passover with who? My disciples. That's right. And we're still talking about what? Passover. The Passover. Keep reading. We're going to read it again. Go ahead. And the disciples did as Jesus had appointed them. Uh -huh. And they made ready the Passover. They made ready the Passover. Now when the evening was come, he sat down with the twelve. Now so, we don't stop right at the nineteen. He said he made ready again the Passover. Skip down. Skip down to 26 and read. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, mm -hmm. Take, eat, this is my body. Yes. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sin. Uh huh. But I say unto you, what do he say? I will not drink henceforth of, henceforth of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my father's kingdom. So he said this Passover is supposed to absorb you from sin for 7,000 years. We're going to read that too when it came down to the animal sacrifice with the priest. We make sure we tie everything together. Mm -hmm. That's why he said I ain't going to drink it no more to win my father's kingdom. Because the eighth day is going to be something else. But he's covering you in 7,000. Right. 7,000 years. Because one day to the Lord, what? is a 1,000 years. So if it's other than our sin, he's covering our sin for 7,000 years, brother and sister. The eighth day, we're going to be immortal. Mm -hmm. And wherever you got in this earth, you're going to be in that place. If you if you spiritual, like he said, give you the uncorruptible body, if you that your reward is a lake of fire, you're going to be there. And if your reward is kingdom of God, you're going to be there. But like I said, it's all going to take place on purpose, brother and sister. Nothing by accident. You had some going joking, talking about he's a comedian, talking about he's going to go to the gate and tell him, Peter, Peter, hook me up. It ain't going to work like that, y'all. Nah. People may make jokes about it, but it ain't going to work like that. Mm -hmm. So now, let's go further, brother. Let's go further. Let's go to Genesis 14, chapter. Cause we got to pick up this Melchizedek, Melchizedek y'all. We got to pick him up. We see him there, but at the same time, we got to find out Paul brought him to light. He's going to show you that, too. Melchizedek. We're going to read about him right here. Let y'all know about the priesthood. He's our high priest, and that's Jesus. He's our high priest. Thank, but thank, thank God for Jesus. A lot of things we do, we need somebody there to tell you. He know how this flesh went. He know how he dealt to the death with this body. This body ain't no joke, y'all. Mm -mm. This mind ain't no joke. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can be an enemy in your own mind. Right. Your mind wants you to go back and do things like you used to do. 
but you had to cut it off every time. You had to mortify the deeds of the flesh every day. Yep. You got to fight the man. It's like a 10 round fight every day. I'm so tired of fighting my mind, I'm telling you. I ain't lying. I'm fighting my mind all day long. I want to do this. No, you can't. Well, let's go over here and see her. Oh, no, you can't. You see all that money behind that restaurant? We need some money. No, we can't rob the place. All this going on at the same time, y'all. And y'all know why you riding that stuff going through your mind. You see it, how he, he, but you know it's going through your mind. A lot of things you want to do, you want to do. But you got to stop that body from feeling whatever it want to do. In that mind. Now, why I say, brother, 14, we're going to pick it up at 1 and 2. Get that, brother. Go ahead and read it. And it came to pass in the days of Amraphel, king of Shinar, uh -huh. Ariad, king of Elisar, yes. Shadulamer, king of Alam, uh -huh. and Tidal, king of nations, that these made war with Bera, king yes, of Salem, uh -huh. and Bersha, king of Gomorrah, right. Shinab, king of Agma, and Shemaber, king of Zeboah, uh -huh. and the king of Bela, which is Zoar. Yeah, yeah, read that one more. Verse 3. Yeah, go ahead and take it All out. these were joined together in the Vale of Siddim, which uh -huh. is the Salt Sea. So now we're dealing with a war that came that took place. But we're going to skip down to 10. And we're going to read who came in a sea for these kings because they ran to the slime pits. And back then, they were one of them funny, funny folk. They probably ran from the slime pit because we know they was now that's Sodom and Gomorrah. Now think about it. They don't want to go through no slime pits. You know how that works. They too prison to go through the slime pit. <laughs> so now, they involved Abraham. That's when he got involved with the world. Let's see what Abraham did. Go ahead and read. And the veil of Siddam was full of slime pits. Yes, sir. And the kings of Sodom and Gomorrah fled. Uh-huh. And fell there. Yes. And, that, and they that remained fled to the mountains. Go ahead. And they took all the goods of Sodom and Gomorrah. Uh-huh. And all their victuals and went their way. Go ahead. And they took Lot, Abram's brother's son, uh -huh. who dwelt in Sodom, and his goods and departed. So they got in trouble when they got home. When they met with Lot. Mm -hmm. That when Abraham in the city. Go ahead and read. And there came one that had escaped and told Abram the Hebrew. Uh huh. So that's what we about to find out. Abraham is a Hebrew. Mm -hmm. They want to put it before this, but we can read this right here, right? Right. right. But he called Abram the what? The Hebrew. Go ahead and read. For he dwelt in the plain of Mamer, uh -huh. the Amorite. Go ahead. Brother of Eshcol and brother of Aner. Uh huh. And these were confederated with Abram. Go ahead. And when Abram heard that his brother was taken captive, he armed his trained servants, born in his own house, mm -hmm. 318, and pursued them unto Dan. Go ahead. And he divided himself against them, he and his servants, by night, mm -hmm. and smote them, and pursued them unto Hobah, uh -huh. which is on the left hand of Damascus. Go ahead. And he brought back all the goods, and also brought again his brother Lot, and his goods, and the women also, and the people. So now he went and got everybody. You got all them kings can, can save them, but you got... He got 300 people. Right. Went up there and took care of the business. When God with you, ain't nothing impossible, brothers and sisters. Amen. I always remember that. When God is with you, nothing impossible. Sometimes we got things going on in our life and our bodies and our, man, especially financially. That's going on now, but it seems like they can't get no high enough on that rent. <laughs> and when you understand, man, you got to put everything in the hand of God. That's right. Sometimes we think about the tithe, but nobody think about the tithe what you offering to God, that God always take care of you. I'm telling you, you look sharp. Why well, I used to be up, man. I used to do my child like this. Why well, I do what I'm gonna do, and I got enough to pay God. I'm like, no, I ain't got enough this money. And I do just do what I'm gonna do with it. See, like that money go by so fast, y'all. When you get to the Lord, boy, you let him do what he gonna do, boy. It all works out perfect. That's right. That's why I say I don't even think about it. Hell, Lord. It ain't looking for no nothing to come back, but if it come back, thank you. That's just how it works. That's faith, y'all. Amen. Get that money out your hand, it's faith. It takes faith for you to give up something you don't see a way out. And you say, boy, I got to pay these tithes. I don't know what's going to happen, but I got to put them on the table. And watch the Lord work out for you. Mm -hmm. But it takes faith, y'all. I ain't trying to build up no organization. I ain't trying to get no money in my pocket. Like I said, I don't know they'll get paid. So I ain't just picking the tithe, bring the tithe to the storehouse, and they're going to be shaked down and live there. No, I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about you having faith with God, y'all. That's what it's about. Now, Go ahead and read, brother. Let's read about this male key today. Go ahead and read. 17. Yes, sir. And the king of Sodom went out to meet him after his return from the slaughter of Shadalama. Go ahead. And of the kings that were with him. Uh huh. At the valley of Shaveh. Go which ahead. Which is the king's deal. Uh huh. And Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought forth bread and wine. Uh oh, that's a chain administration right there. Mm -hmm. 
We talking about Melchizedek, today, who was the one that sacrificed the animal for Adam and Eve when they what transgressed against God in the in the, in the garden. Mm. He told them not to talk the same. Don't even don't even touch. Them, leave them alone. And they did that. He's been recovering us ever since, brothers and sisters. We still dying behind that decision. Right. That's what we dying from. We dying from disobedience. He said, in that day, you're going to die. We know the oldest man was Methuselah. He lived 969 years old. Ain't no man lived a 1,000 years. But we talk about now. He shot down the years of what, 125? Cut him again about 70? Mm -hmm. Ate it with strength? Well, we, boy, we just died now, eh? Yeah. And that's what's going on. So, Lord, sure enough, we just temporal, y'all. This flesh going to change. We don't live in our bed. We don't live long enough. You thank God for every day. Ain't that so? Ain't that right? It's so old, is Long as y'all see a day, boy, it's okay. Y'all young still. Y'all gotta wake up with them hurting pain, them knees hurting and back hurting. You're sleeping on this side, you're rolling on the other side, kicking the bed over on the side of it, and holding your leg over the bed, trying to get some rest that night. Y'all ain't going through that yet. <laughs> Let me know when y'all get there. That will be going on. Ain't that right? Ain't, ain't that right, my senior section? <laughs> you told we got one in the middle over there, okay? All my seniors in here. I don't know what I'm talking about. They ain't gonna let y'all know what it is, your young folk. <laughs> we ain't got no problem telling y'all what's happening. Put that bingay on it, keep it moving. <laughs> Praise God, brother and sister. So now, where we at, brother and sister? Middle of 18. Middle of 18. Go ahead and keep reading, brother. And he was the priest of the Most High God. He said he was priest of who? The Most High he God. He was the priest at that time of the Most High God. We're going to connect it again. When we get to the New Testament, he's still going to tell you the priest of the Most High God. Because he, all he did was he launched his priesthood to Levi. Mm -hmm. That's it. He's our high priest, brother and sister. Go ahead and read. And he blessed them and said, He blessed them? Uh -huh. Blessed be able of the Most High God. Yes, sir. Possessor of heaven and earth. Uh-huh. And blessed be the Most High God. Yes, sir. Which hath delivered thine enemies into thy hand. Uh huh. And he gave him tithes of all. So Levi went there at the time when he came before Melchizedek. And Abraham gave him what? A tithe of all. They were still in his loins, brothers and sisters. The biblical priesthood. So he gave him a tenth of all. So now, let's go further. Let's, man, we got to follow this down. We got to get to the nitty gritty. Let's go further. Let's skip down. Let's go to, uh, where I got in? Along my pen. I get so excited, I don't know what my pen is. But y'all gonna help me out, I know y'all will. Hey, brother, you missed a spot. <laughs> Hebrews 7, brother. Hebrews 7. Hebrews, Hebrews that's right. Hebrews 7, brother. Let's find out what Paul said about, like I said, we wouldn't know Melchizedek unless we were Paul. Paul showed us who Melchizedek was according to the scripture. And we finna read about it. But it's gonna sound just like Jesus, though. When you read it, it's gonna sound just like Jesus. Go ahead and, uh, let me see, I'm trying to get that right quick. Y'all got me in a, a vice grip, boy. One wind hit it this way, then the other fan hit it this way. <laughs> Don't start the rest of the page. <laughs> All right, seven. We're going to pick it up at first one, brother. When you get that, go ahead and read. For this Melchizedek, king of Salem, uh -huh. priest of the most high God. So he took us back to the Genesis 14 chapter. Go ahead and read. Who met Abraham returning from the slaughter of the king uh -huh. and blessed him. Go ahead. To whom also Abraham gave a tenth part of all. Yes, sir. First being by interpretation, king of king righteousness. King of righteousness. And after that also, king of King Satan, of Salem. Which is king of peace. So he's the king of peace. He's king of Jerusalem as well, y'all. Yeah. I'm saying he's the king of peace, y'all. And we talk about no other, no other person than Jesus. Go ahead and read. Without father. Without father. Without. Oh, uh oh, we finna find out that he he wasn't born by, by Joseph, wasn't he? Nope. So how Joseph gonna be a father? You gotta catch out of time out. He can't just man, God can do anything. Right. There ain't nothing too impossible, God. Guess what? When you get sick, don't you work on yourself? Yeah. Boy, you get a cold, boy, you heard him run to the drugstore and get you some medicine, don't you? Mm -hmm. So how are you gonna have dirt to put on clothes when it's cold? Take them off when it's hot. It's just a lump of dirt, y'all. Ain't nothing impossible with God, y'all. Yeah. And you put on clothes every day. Because you know it. You can't go outside naked. So all of us got some clothes. Mm -hmm. So the whole point we get y'all to understand, ain't nothing impossible with God, brother. Right. Go ahead and read. Without father. Without who? Father. Without mother. Without mother. So he just came through Mary, right? Right. So how Jesus going to have a birthday? 
And how people gonna be hooked when all this time when his birthday mo what December the twenty fifth? He can't have no birthday. He ain't have no mama. He just coming through jo Joseph, so we know it's something different. Right. We gonna find out what it's about too. That's right. He just showed me, yeah, man. He had to be from the Most High God. Yeah. And we are gonna read what body he prepared. Right. All right, body prepared. Go ahead and read. Without the sin. Without the sin. Having neither beginning of days. So he ain't got no beginning of days, y'all. Go ahead. No end of life. No end of life. Definitely ain't got no end of life. End of life. Cause he told you I'm an Alpha and Omega, right? Right. Go ahead. But made like unto the Son of God. So he made it like a Son of God? Abided the priest continually. So now, that's a priest continually. Jesus can't die, right? No. So we got a high priest continually before God. What are you doing? Zen not call, brothers and sisters. Let him know. Get him another chance. Give him more time, God. I know how that flesh works. So he found a petition for us. Sometimes we make decisions, but they don't always be the right decision. Understand that. You know, you're going to make a decision, but that don't mean how they're always going to be right. But go ahead and read. Now consider how great this man was, uh -huh. unto whom even the patriarch Abraham gave the tent of the spoils. So now, that patri the patriarch who? Uh, who? Abraham. Gave what? The tent of the tent spoils. The tent of the spoils he had. And so he's telling us the same thing. Abraham had to do the same thing. We got to break bread too, brother and sister. And this ain't no tired message either. It's just telling you what's necessary to keep us going in the faith. Now, skip down, brother. Skip down to verse nine and read. And as I may so, and as I may so say, uh -huh. Levi also, who received tithes, paid tithes in Abraham. Abraham, go ahead, Levi. So now you're talking about the sons that came from Abraham. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read. But he was yet in the loins of his father uh -huh. with Melchizedek. Men. So now we just read where he said he was in the loins of his. They was in the loins of his father. When they met. And Abraham gave him a tip. Yeah, when his son came out of him, Levi gave him a tip as well. Right. Go ahead and read. If therefore perfection were by the, were by the Levitical priesthood, uh -huh. for under it the people received the law. Received the law. What further need was there that another priest should rise after the order of Melchizedek uh -huh. and not be called after the order of Aaron? To not be called after who? The order of Aaron. So he tell you right here, for under the people's received the law, we talking about Levitical priesthood, they received the law of what? Animal sacrifices. We can read that, and we're going to read that. But we got to tie it all in to let you know who you're up under as far as being covered in this blood, brother. So think about the, the lamb that was in Exodus 12. We talking about Jesus, the Messiah, because he died for you in that body. People always talk about it, but nobody really understands what he went through. Right. We talk about, oh, he died. Oh, he, man, listen here. Wasn't no purpose set back then. <laughs> Wasn't no oxycodone back then. Can you imagine getting beat like he beat and you suffering all that time? Could you take it? Then he told you at one point, not my will, but your will be done, Father. But let's keep reading. What we at, brother? Verse 12. Go ahead and read. For the priesthood being changed, there is made of necessity a change also of So the now law. he said the priesthood being changed from Levi. Because we know that Jesus Christ came from who? Judah. That's where he came from. He's from the nation of Judah. Right. So now, since that changed, it's got to be a necessity also to change the law. So now, where we at, brother? Uh, skip the 14. Yeah, skip the 14. Thank you, brother. You got the pages, don't you? Yeah, I skip got the 14. <laughs> for, it is evident, for it is evident that our Lord sprang out of he Judah. He sprung out of Judah. Of which tribe Moses spake nothing. He didn't speak nothing. Concerning priesthood. Concerning the priesthood. So he didn't say nothing about Judah at that time. He said a Levitical priesthood. But this time Judah, which was uh, uh which which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning the priesthood. 15, go ahead and read. And it is yet far more evident. Uh-huh. For that after the multitude of Melchizedek, there arises. After read that again. And it is yet far more evident. For that after the similitude of Melchizedek. Yes, sir. There arises another, another priest. Another priest. Go ahead and read. Who is made not after the law of carnal command. Yes, sir. But after the power of an endless life. So now the power of what? An endless life. That's what Jesus said. It, it, it promised unto us. He said, if you keep these commandments and diligently follow him, guess what you're going to do? You'll live forever, brothers and sisters. How you going to give up on a deal like that? You know what I'm saying? That's a, man, that's a surefire deal right there, brothers and sisters. And you ain't going to be in a lake of fire gnashing at the teeth. That's the promise that he made you. He ain't going against his promise. He told you what he going to do. Right. 
He told you to diligently seek him, and you're going to be in the kingdom. And receive everlasting life. Where we at? Go ahead and read, 17. brother. Go ahead. For he testified, uh -huh. thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. So now, we see that we should deal with Jesus. You the priest forever after all the Melchizedek, though. Go ahead and read, brother. What, 17? No, we just finished 17. Once all right. 21. Let's go further. Appreciate it. Everybody keep me in line. I hear somebody else saying that. Let's go to 21, brother. 21. Skip down to 21 and read. For those priests were made without an oath. Yes, sir. But this with an oath. By he him. was made with a, he was made, it was made, this one right here, this priest, was made with an oath, brother. So we're going to read that oath, too. Go ahead and read. By him that said unto him, uh -huh. the Lord swear and will not repent. He ain't going to repent. He swear about this. Hey, you the priest. Go ahead and read. Thou art a priest forever uh -huh. after the order of Melchizedek. So now he's a priest dealing with Jesus. It's a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Go ahead and read. By so much was Jesus made a surety of a better testament. Uh huh. And they truly were many priests because they were not suffered to continue by reason of death. Death. Everybody died out in the priesthood. So now we got a priest that going to abide continually, brother. So we still dealing with Jesus. That's the point we need to understand. The blood and bulls of goats couldn't take away sin. It couldn't do it. Right. And we're going to read that. Go ahead. But this man... Because he continued with ever, because he continued with ever, hath an unchangeable priesthood. Mm -hmm. Wherefore he is able also to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him. Yes, sir. Seeing he ever liveth to make it to make intercession for them. So now he's making intercession for us, brothers and sisters. This is what he's calling the high priest. And that high priest is Jesus. We're gonna show you that he's sitting on the right hand of God. When he died, he elevated him to the right hand of God, brothers and sisters. And let's keep reading, though. Let's go further, brother. Let's go to Psalm 110 so we can find out what oath he made. Psalm 110. Y'all all right? Yeah. We're going to get through this today, y'all. In my name of Jesus. Keep telling me take your time, boy. Are you hearing that, y'all? Better stop. I heard it again, y'all. He called him Bowie. Hey, he did a three-hour play. I said, Bowie, hey, they told me to take my time, man. Gonna pick it up at verse one. Psalm 110, verse one, brothers and sisters. 110 and verse one. We gotta hear this oath that he told. Go ahead and read, bro. The Lord said unto my Lord, uh -huh. sit thou on my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. So he told him, he said, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna, he blessed him. Sit here on my right hand till I make all your enemies your footstool. And we talking about those who go against Christ for his adversaries who don't keep his commandments. They're going to be his footstool too because they don't want to do what he's saying. He gives you the opportunity. That's why you have a Sabbath. That's why you're on the feast day. That's why you're keeping all the holidays. That's why you're keeping his commandments because you want to be there too. But if you don't do it, you're going to be an adversary. You're going to be a one of his footstools. Right. You're going to be on their footstool. Let's go. Verse 4. The Lord has sworn and will not repent. So who sworn this? The Lord. Talking about God, y'all. He swore on this. Go ahead and read. Thou art a priest forever uh -huh. after the order of Melchizedek. So now he that gave, that gave Jesus that position. Listen here. You the priest, what? After uh -huh. order who? Melchizedek. And we know Melchizedek ain't nothing but just telling about Jesus. Yeah. So now, let's go further, brother. Let's go to Hebrew 10. Because we got to find out about this animal sacrifice. It couldn't take away sin, y'all. Because every time they showed up, well, you had to show up with your lamb, or a little a goat or something. You got to show up or something. Every time they make an atonement for you. So you had to have a remembrance of it. Nowadays, you the living sacrifice, y'all. Animals ain't going to die for your sins no more. You going to die and go to the lake of fire. What that lamb do? When they took him to the, be, to, to put him on the, on the, uh, the uh, be an offering for, to the Lord for atonement. I know he looking like, eh, bah, I ain't do nothing. Bah, bah. <laughs> Why don't I stop this man? Bad. He ain't do that. Why are they taking all the help to get to uh, anyway? We, hey man, stop sinning. Now, if they can talk, they'll tell me to stop. They'll tell me to stop. But y'all need to stop. Make that doggy talk. You know what I mean? Make that sheep talk. But I'm telling you, they ain't do nothing, y'all. Nothing ain't gonna pray for y'all saying no. Y'all on y'all own. Now, y'all going to burn in the fire. Mm -hmm. 
That's the point we need to understand. When somebody else do something, when somebody else taking punishment for you, oh, it's all right. When you got to deal with yourself, that's something different. Now, pick it up at 10 and verse 1, brother. Get that, go ahead and read. For the law, having a shadow of good things to come, uh -huh. and not the very image of the things, yes, sir. and never with those sacrifices which they offered, year by year continually, make the comers thereunto perfect. So now they offer this continually, y'all, every year. It couldn't make them perfect, because guess what? The next year they're trying to figure out how they're going to do sin again. They ain't trying to become righteous. All they want to do, boy, I got to give me one more in. Let's take them on up there. That's what was going on. Continue. They, got to, they had a knowledge of sin, brother and sister. Now, it depends on you keeping that commandment, boy, ain't nothing you can take before him but obedience. Obey. 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 Right. Ain't no putting that with it. Because I used to figure out a remedy, too, back in the day. Do something wrong, I think I'm going to fail three days. I'm going uh, <laughs> to go to church on time. <laughs> You be rationing your own mind. I'm telling you, it happened. I was doing that. I'm trying to die, man. I'm doing something. I'm trying to figure out how to get out of it. And Lord, instead of beating me down at the same time, I'm telling you, mind play tricks on y'all. Think you can get away with something. You can't get away with it. Pick it up, verse 4. Brother, go ahead and read. For it is not possible uh -huh. that the blood of bulls and of goats should take away sin. So he said it plainly right here. It's not possible the blood of bulls and goats to what? Take, take away, away sin. Go ahead and read verse 5. Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, uh -huh. he said, Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not. He said, Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not. But a body has thou prepared me. So now, okay, we got to come up with that body. So we know it wasn't the body from the flesh, because he told you he didn't kind of say he had no, one, he had no, no, no uh, mother and no, had no father. Right. So we know Mary came, and she was impregnated with the Holy Spirit, right? Who placed it there, not impregnated, but it placed the it, space, the space, the space, uh, Place the body, and then it matured. It came out, and then you have you bring forth Jesus. So it wasn't by a man, cause she said in that she said I never knew a man. Right. That's why you're trying to hide him. I'm like hold on, what you done did? <laughs> but he found out. The Lord told him this. Uh, this is this is God right here. Right. You ain't got to hide or put it nowhere. And that's the first thing a man be thinking, boy. What you done did, girl? You ain't slept with me. So the angel brought it to attention. Hey, no. This is dealing with the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Now, where we where we at now? Uh, we just finished that. Okay, we just finished that five? Yeah, we finished Okay, five. let's go further, brothers and sisters. Let's go to Hebrews, the second chapter. Cause we got to figure out where the body come from, right? Let's read where this body came from. Got to read where the body came from. Let me see a paraphrase. I need to read. Just shut up. Hold on. Let me see. Hebrews 2. We're going to pick it up verse 9, y'all. Hebrews 2 and 9. We're going to read about it. Now, praise God. Hebrews 2 and verse 9. Go ahead and read. But we see Jesus, who was made a little lower than the angels. Yes, sir. For the suffering of death. Uh-huh. Crowned with glory and honor. Yes. That he, by the grace of God, should taste death for every man. So he's going to taste death for what? Every, every man. man. Because he told you, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, whosoever believes in him should not perish with what? Have have life. Life. And that's why he's saying to die for the sins of the world, brother and sister. But keep reading. Go ahead. For it became him, for whom are all things, and by whom are all things. Yes. In bringing many sons unto oh, glory, uh -huh. to make the captain of their salvation perfect through suffering. So now we got to find out who this captain is, y'all. Perfect through what? Suffering. He learned obedience through suffering, brothers and sisters. And he became the captain of all our salvation. We've been read. That's what we're talking about. I gotta read now. Let's go to Hebrews the fifth chapter. Get this on the table. Hebrews 5. You know, glory be to God, y'all. We here today. Understanding why we here. And the purpose that we be here. Because the Lord said he would create man become what? And we become what? God. That's what we're here for. Five. Pick it up verse one. Let's read about it. For every high priest taken from among men is ordained for men and things. Yes, sir. To God, Go ahead. That he may offer both gifts and sacrifices for sin. Yes. Who can have compassion on the ignorant? Jesus. Go ahead and, and read. And on them that are out of the way. Jesus. 
for that he himself also is compassed with infirmity. So that's how we know it with Jesus, because he was compassed with what? Infirmity. infirmity. Like I say, his vision was marred more than any man, brother and sister. That's why I say we couldn't take that beam. Peter thought he could do it. But Jesus looked at him like, hey, man, check this out. The crop, the crow, what said, the, 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 uh, for the, uh, crop, the crow, uh, crow. Thank you. That's why I said, man, I know it. I want to get the word right. We was going to crow three times. And he said when he, when he throw, crow, when he crow three times, he was sorry because he blew the mission. Right. Yeah. He thought he could stand on it, but he wasn't ready to take that same beat Jesus took. You were standing right there, you'd probably do the same thing. Yeah. I hear you, Lord, but I don't think I'd be able to do this one. <laughs> you can't, guy. like I said, you can't write a check. <laughs> behind can't tell. You're going to stand with Jesus, stand with Jesus, y'all. That's right. All kind of tough times come. He said, hey, righteous is going to be persecuted. And we know that. We're going to be afflicted because we hold fast to the name Jesus. Mm -hmm. Folks out there on the corner now, you say, Jesus, they'll probably run you off the block. Just because you said Jesus. So you know the animosity and the hate coming for that name. Go ahead and keep reading, brother. And by reason hereof, he uh -huh. offered, as for the people, so also for himself to offer for sin. So he offered himself for sin. Go ahead. And no man taketh take this honor unto himself. Uh huh. But he that is called of God, as was Aaron. So now we talk about he called him a high priest. After all who? Melchizedek. Yeah. Go ahead and read. So also Christ glorified not himself to be made in high priest. Uh-huh. But he that said unto him, Thou art my son, today have I begotten thee. Uh-huh. As he said also in another place, Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. And we just read that in Psalm 110. Go ahead and read. Who in the days of his flesh, when he had offered up prayers and supplications with strong crying and tears unto him that was able to save him from death, and was heard in that he feared. He feared. And this body, man, every day you wake up with a certain pain in your chest, I be like, this ain't the one. I'm like Sam and the son now. This ain't the one, is it, Lord? That's how it can, y'all. I'm telling you. This show do, don't it? Sister Tate, man, sometimes you have a chest pain, it don't be nothing but gay. But you be thinking it's something else. You know, back in the day, get you some mustard. Ain't that what you say? Take you some mustard. You'll be all right. But sometimes you feel like that, y'all. Don't nobody want to die. This is what I'm saying, y'all. Don't nobody want to die. We got loved ones, we got grandchildren, we got children depending on everybody depending on us. So we're trying to take them, we're trying to go as far as we can with their body. But go ahead and read. Though he were a son. Though he was a son. Yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered. So he a son, so what he did? He learned obedience by the things which he suffered, y'all. He suffered for this thing. He suffered. He said, not my will be done, but your will be done. Y'all think about all the things he went through. Man, thorns on his head. They pushed him down in his head. Snatched his beard out. They, they got a scourge in his back, putting flesh off his back. And he went through that. For us, y'all, he didn't do nothing. We did it. He died for our sins, y'all. The reproaches of man fell on him. Why we can't give him that arm? Why we can't? Because he did that for us. When you understand, the spiritual ramification, if he wouldn't have did it, all of us headed to the lake of fire. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read. And being made perfect. Being made what? Perfect. perfect. We just read that, being the captain of our salvation. Go ahead and read. He became the author of eternal salvation. Say now, he became who? The, the author. author. Don't authors write books? Yep. This is the book we read now. He became the author of what? Eternal, eternal salvation. salvation. All we got to do is stick to the page. Don't add to it. Don't take away nothing from it. He'll let you know exactly how to get the kingdom of God. He told you, let this mind be in you. That's what? In Christ Jesus. Jesus. Also in Christ Jesus. That's right, sister. And that's what we're doing. That's why we're here now. We get more understanding of who Jesus is, and we let that mind be in us now. That's what we're doing. That's why we got to read this book. Like I said, we put on our dashboard. We ride around with it. I used to do that when he read it. Boy, boy, I'm with the Lord today. I got my book on the dashboard. I'm out there sitting, sitting like a boy. I'm sitting like a big dog. But I got my Bible on there, boy, though. I don't open it, but it's on there, boy. That's how I used to roll back in the day. I'm serious. To one day, I really just opened it one day and started looking into it. Ran around to some false prophets, though. Found out they were false. I had to run from them, too. Now, you start reading, you understand, boy, you got to come out there foolish. 
ain't no truth in that church. You can't make it true. Mm -hmm. All it is is lies. Because they still killing the people that are still up in it. People dying those ministries, y'all. They dying those ministries. Big mama them. Uncle them. They dying those ministries been going there 30, 40 years. And they still ain't giving no kind of instruction on salvation. That's sad. But now, where we at, brother? We at uh, verse, middle of verse 9. Go ahead and keep reading. He became, I'm going to start from top. Go ahead. And being made perfect. Being made perfect. He became the author of eternal salvation uh -huh. unto all them that obey him. He said to all them that do what? Obey him. All them that do what? Obey him. Obey him. Now he's your author. But guess what you got to do, y'all? Y'all got to obey him. Yeah. Now he's the author. He's the captain of your salvation, but you got to obey him. Because he's suffering for you. For you. So you got to obey him. It's not a choice. Ain't no choice in this thing. Either you ain't or you are. Are you not or you going to? I had to put in two different phrases. I said ain't perfect. Y'all understand ain't. <laughs> All right. Now, that's 10 or 9? You still 9? You on 10? You on 10 now. Okay, go ahead, brother. Called, called of God and high priest uh -huh. after the order of Melchizedek. So now he's called God the high priest now. He understand what we went through in this body. He understand that flesh don't want to die. That's why he was crying. He don't want to die because he was in the flesh as well. If he was a spirit, he wouldn't have to worry about dying. But he was in the flesh just like we are, brothers and sisters. Now, let's go further. Let's keep reading, brother. Let's go to Galatians, the first chapter. Because this blood is still coming up to this day, y'all. To this day. Understand that. When you go to the gas station, you know God with you. I keep saying that because that's all that's happening in Georgia right now. Tell you, look on the news. Somebody gets shot up at a gas station. Well, I'm telling you, I don't know what's going on. Oh, that mercy. Pick it up verse 1. Galatians 1. Because we're going to read what the Lord even take you in this present evil day. Because the days are still evil, brother. Still saying that changing. Until the Lord come back. That's when you're going to see the change. We are here doing our part. Bringing people in, let them get in this good word, made a change that I started making the world a little better. Mm -hmm. But go ahead and read. Paul, an apostle, not of men, uh -huh. neither by man, yes, sir. but by Jesus Christ, uh -huh. and God the Father who raised him from the dead. Go ahead. And all the brethren which are with me unto the, chur the churches of Galatia. So make sure we read this again because people talking about the Holy Ghost somewhere in there. You read the Holy Ghost in there anyway. Read that again, bro. Oh, they always talk about the Holy Ghost 301. No, uh-uh. Read that again. Paul, an apostle, not of men, Go neither ahead. by men, yes, sir. but by Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ and God the, Father, God the Father, who raised him from the dead. That's what we talking about. That's all right. right. Now keep reading. And all the men I mean, and all the brethren which are with me uh -huh. unto the churches of Galatia. Go ahead. Grace be to you and peace from God the Father and from our Lord Do Jesus it again. Christ. God the Father who? Our Lord Jesus Christ. That's it. So we ain't talking about no trinity or nothing like that. Nah. We talking about the Father and the Son. We know the, that the angel ain't nothing but a message. Right. Now keep reading this other verse. This verse right here gonna let you know what's happening. Go ahead. Who gave himself for our sins? So now he died for our sins, y'all. Go ahead. That he might deliver us from this present evil so world. So now he delivered us from what? This, this present, present evil, evil world. world. We covered with the blood even today, y'all. That blood covering us. And that's what people don't understand. That's why some people say, plead the blood. I'm like, what blood you bleeding? It couldn't be from the bunny rabbit. Where your blood coming from? I'm just saying. How can you add that to the equation before getting the blood that covered you from the, the devil Christ? And you're going to have people out hunting Easter eggs and all that. What they got to do with any blood? Not them, but you got these people, man, they're so caught up. They don't change it up now. It ain't Easter service month, service no more. It's resurrection day. Still the same falsehood. They throw reservation on a wrong day. Man, I'm telling you, man, people, man, I'm telling you. This him? This man is a terrible thing to give to somebody, y'all. I mean, it really is. Back when you back in the college, you ever say, well, they're back in the college day, you said, mind is a terrible thing to waste, didn't it? Yeah. No, the mind is a terrible thing to give to somebody, y'all. Don't you give your mind to nobody. I tell them, we come down people, I'm never tell you to follow them. But I never tell nobody, I tell you that. Yeah, right. Now, one time I come out, hey, y'all, follow the elder now. We're going to go to the king. No, uh uh. You follow the word. That's you right. follow Jesus. That's why you should have no problem. Nobody in him. Somebody come in and got a problem, they got something going on with them. 
you should be healed to receive salvation from Jesus. That's the only reason you heal. That's right. You gotta understand to get to Jesus. So you shouldn't let nobody stop you coming to the church. I don't know how that works, though. Got people sitting there, they mad all the time, want to get mad with people. Then they walk out. They ain't got nothing to do with you. You're supposed to be here for Jesus. Understand that, y'all. This thing is dead serious. Now, I just read that. Pick it up verse 5, too. Oh, we're at the end of 4. Oh, keep reading the end of 4. Go ahead. According to the will of God and our Father. Yes, sir. To whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. So it protect us, that blood protect us even from this present evil world. Now, let's go further, brother. Let's go to Hebrews, the second chapter. We're going to pick it up, verse 11. We're going to walk it through, y'all. Yes, sir. Jesus' name. Because like I said, when Paul brought that Melchizedek, boy, he brought a whole lot of him. He showed us what's going on. According to the scriptures. Two. We're going to pick it up verse 11, brother. Hebrews 2 and 11. You get that? Go ahead and read. For both he that sanctified and they who are sanctified are all, are all of one. Yes, sir. For which cause he is not ashamed to call them brethren. He ain't ashamed to call them who? Brethren. brethren. That's right, brother. Because we're doing everything he wants us to do. We're pleasing God, y'all. That's right. Brothers and sisters, go ahead. Verse 14. Yes, sir. For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same. Mm -hmm. That through death he might destroy him that had the power of death. That he made that is the power devil. of death. He said no, that, that is who? The devil. The devil. He had the power of death. Brother. So could nobody come back and tell you what death was like? The only somebody who could do that was Jesus. Because he was resurrected from the dead. And now he's sitting on the right hand of the Father. And that's what we're looking forward to. We're looking forward to sitting there in the kingdom. Not in the kingdom, but on earth. I feel to put us in heaven with Father. I can't do that. <laughs> Ain't nobody going to heaven. Not no man. Mm -hmm. Everything going to take place on the earth, brother and sister. We can read that to you. But let's go further. What we at now? Uh, 16. Go ahead and keep reading. No. Yeah, read 16. Go ahead. For verily, he took not on him that nature of angels. Yes, sir. But he took on him the seed of Abraham. Abraham. So he had to come in the flesh so he could die. Because angels don't die, y'all. That's why the Lord got a reserved place for the angels. When they come back and they got to go into that pit, it's going to be a lake of fire for Satan and everybody who follow him, even in the flesh. But he's going to change the mortal beings now. That's what we look and say. You are serving who you obey. So if you obey Satan, you're going to get the same reward. If you obey Jesus, the reward that Jesus got for you before dealing with the king. Now, let's go further, brother. Let's go to Hebrews, the 10th chapter. Like I said, we're going to slow, we slow walking it down, y'all. Pray God. Let's go to Hebrews 10 then. Right. And we're going to pick it up at verse 8. Hebrews 10 and 8, y'all. Because the Lord let us know what's going on, man. Because at the same time, we can't be ignorant of this thing. Because he said, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of what? Knowledge. Mm -hmm. That's why you got to fear God. Sometimes you get in a situation, but you better think twice. Can't go in these situations, don't think about God when you're going into them and you know it's wrong and you still do it. And one thing the Lord say, He's gonna chastise those He loves. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, He's gonna get that chastisement. Ain't no get away free. He said He ain't gonna pardon the guilty either. He's gonna have some mercy on you, but He ain't say you don't get a pardon. No. Y'all better pay attention. I gotta keep telling you, there ain't no joke. Why, when you go through it, then you understand. I told you, your mom give you a whooping, and she give you that whooping, one of them whooping boys, get you out of the battle with that belt. I ain't going to do it no more. And she be standing right there too. I know you ain't going to do it no more. <laughs> That's how the Lord be looking like. I know you ain't going to do it no more. When I put that, th when I put it on you, boy, you ain't going to want to do it no more. <laughs> and I do mean no more, boy. I tell you, that be fornication, whatever you do, boy, you look around so boy, can't no woman give me a position to do nothing. I ain't going to do it, Lord. Because you don't beat me so bad, boy. I don't even want to look at another woman. I be doing it like this. They be drinking on the toilet. I be looking down at my shoe when they walk by. Like, boy, I ain't even finna look at him. Boy, I ain't finna go that route, boy. I don't want no more of that, no. Oh, no song. Uh-uh, I ain't think I'm retarded. I can't talk. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Ain't gonna be able to do it, y'all. Well, I'm telling you, y'all, y'all figure that. They don't get caught up in the Lord like that with that vice grip on you. Better watch out, because you don't know how he coming. Boy, you do not know how he coming. He might get you tomorrow. He might get you three years from now. He might get you 20 years from now. Y'all don't know when he coming, brother and sister. 
That's the part right there. You just don't know. Might be the best time of your life. You're in the prime, everything's going good with you. All of a sudden, boy, you get a flat tire. He going to slow you down. I was saying you might tear up your car or your roof done fell in. He going to get that payback. And he going to show you, hey, man, and then you think. what you First thing you going to do, you going to think about what you did. I know it's something I did. Oh, I remember. He's going to bring it, gonna bring it back. You don't remember what you did, brother. He's going to bring it back. So now, we at the eight. What do you read, brother? Go ahead. Above, above, when he said sacrifice and offering and burnt yes. offerings and offering for sin, thou wouldest not. He would not. Go ahead. Neither has pleasure therein. He don't have no pleasure in it. Go ahead. Which are offered by the law. Offered by the law, dealing with animal sacrifices. Go ahead. Then said he, Lo, I come to do thy will, O God. Uh huh. He taketh away the first, that he may establish the second. So he took away the animal, pre animal priest, I mean the Levitical priesthood of the animal sacrifice, so it can what? Establish the second. Dealing with the blood of Jesus. Because we look at it, he said they couldn't take away sin. So why is it in place if it can't take away sin? So he gave you a better way. Dealing with Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Because he just keep telling you, blood of books and goats can take away sin. Then he said, body, you don't prepare for me. So now, Jesus not die. Now we're covered in the blood of Jesus. That's why we're taking to the Passover. That's dealing with the blood and wine, and we're going to read that to you too. But where we at now? We do the 10? You did verse, 10. No, we're on verse 10 now. Go ahead and read. By the which will we are sanctified through the offering, offering? of the body of Jesus Christ once for once all. Once for all. This is going to do it once for all, y'all. That body of Jesus, once for all. Think about it. Can't crucify him afresh. Come on, y'all. Let's get our minds right. Understand what we're doing. We doing this for salvation. No other reason. That's right. Not to show people that we do this, we know this, and we're going to do this. You can know all the knowledge in the world. Still bust a leg of fire wide open. You don't do what the book say. You hear what I'm saying? Better understand what you need to do for Jesus. Now, let's go to Isaiah 53. Let's read about Jesus. Got to make sure we keep it in the road, brothers and sisters. It ain't no joke. Not no joke. I know we having fun with the word today. Always good to see y'all. Bad rule. Bad rule, folks. The same time, but we got to talk about it. We got to deal with it. 23, and we're going to pick it up for one. We're going to talk about Jesus. Isaiah 53. We're going to pick it up verse one because we got to understand who this Jesus is. Well, he's our Lord and Savior. How great I am. That's who he is. And he's watching over us and keeping us, y'all. Every day we get up, y'all don't know. He grants y'all traveling mercy to be on that road too, y'all. Mm -hmm. Cause we see a whole lot of stuff, accidents going on and stuff. Right. Cause everybody out there, they high. They either find somebody that left the house mad, driving crazy, and wrecking with folk, man, messing up their lives. So every day you leave home, but I always say to my wife, every day we leave, traveling mercy. Free from mechanical failure, moving violation, and accident. Baby, I say we say it every day we leave. Because we don't know. We're going to make it back. We're going to make sure we pray the Lord before we leave back. Mm -hmm. That's what it's all about. Pray for your loved ones out on that road too. 53 and 1. Go ahead, brother. Who hath believed our report? Yes, sir. And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Uh huh. For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of a dry ground. Yes, sir. He had no form, no comeliness. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. Well, I don't know who came with that picture then. Well, that's a pretty Jesus, ain't it? <laughs> well, I got brown hair, boy, blue eye. Yeah. Boy, he pretty. That's a pretty boy right there. <laughs> he told you he ain't gonna have no two. He ain't gonna have no seven to two like that. He ain't gonna come with no comments that you look good. You know what I'm saying? Right. He might just look like every blow Joe. I was gonna say he look like me. I don't know. Like I told everybody back in the day, I used to go to church. First thing I thought was, all the pretty people going to heaven, all the ugly people going to hell. And I used to look in the mirror like, boy, I don't know if I got a chance, Lord. I used to think that for real. I ain't telling no lie. I used to think that for real. I mean, for real, for real. I think all the ugly people, they're going to hell. But everybody that showed you on TV, they were pretty. Really, I had them folk. I'm looking at all these folk pretty. I don't know why I stand in all this. Thank God I found out, boy, the Lord hey, He want everybody. He call you all the souls in here. So I got to pray. If I do what he say, I'm going to be there too. I ain't going to be in heaven. I'm going to be on the earth right here. Right. 
Go ahead and read, brother. Verse 3. Yes, sir. He is despised and rejected of men. Yes, he is. A man of sorrows. Uh huh. Acquainted with grief. Acquainted with grief, y'all. And that's what we're looking at. He ain't nobody had a perfect life. He was acquainted with grief when he came and died for us. That wasn't no pleasure in that. He could have said, Lord, teach. And he prayed him to take that cup. Take this cup from me. He didn't want to die. He crying. Not take it from me. But then again, he had to break it down like lick him, man. Not my will, but your will be done, Father. That's totally obedience. When you suffer something, you still keeping Jesus' word. Sometimes you want to get them benefits from place. Sometimes you want to lie on the application, but I can't do it. You want the thing that you need, but you can't lie for it. And if you don't lie for it, it always turn out good. And that's what I have to remember sometimes. Sometimes in the blink of my man, reality trump. The, the, I mean, reality trump anything. You say what you ain't going to do until you get in that position. And I say it all the time, boy. You can't say what you won't do until you face that condition or that that that, that, uh, that actual fact that you got to go through that. So, hey, be mindful, y'all. Watch your decision. Watch your mouth. You know? But go ahead and read. And we hid as it were, as, and we hid as it were, our faces from him. So we hear from him. Go ahead. He was despised. Uh huh. And we esteemed him not. And we esteemed him what? Not. And we doing it now. He was despised. Well, guess what? We don't esteem him. This is the Lord. This Bible. This is Jesus that died for us, y'all. You got to put respect on that name. You got to put some honor on that name. Because he died for us, y'all. Go ahead and read. Surely he hath borne our grief. Yes, he did. And carried our sorrows. Uh huh. Yet we did esteem him stricken. Stricken, right? Smitten of God. Smitten of who? And of God. He's smitten of God. He had to go through that to save us from death. Life in the lake of fire, y'all. He gave us the opportunity. It's up to you what you're going to do with it. What I'm going to do with it. What well, everybody's going to do with the opportunity that he's given us. Go ahead. And afflicted. And he was afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgression. So now he was wounded for our transgression, brothers and sisters. He was wounded because of something we did. He didn't do it. He was just like that lamb we saw when he covered up there. Like, why I got to burn? Why I got to burn up? Why I got to get punished for something they did? And I know it's the same way he probably feel. But then again, the reproach of them fell on him. Understand the severity of it. That somebody loved you so much that he wouldn't die for you even though you transgressed. And that's what we need to think about. Go ahead, brother. He was buried uh -huh. for our iniquities. He was. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. He said the chastisement of our peace was upon who? Him. him. Uh huh. And with his stripes, we are healed. And that's the stripes he took. So we healed, y'all. We healed from that wicked mindset we had. We can clear it up, but we got to want to do it, y'all. And that's what we said. We're enemies in our own mind. Don't get caught up in that again, y'all. You understand where you came from. You don't want to go back there. Right. I don't want to go back there again. Because everything we're doing, we're abusing our bodies. We're doing everything outside this, dealing with this body, y'all. And the Lord allow us not to die. Like I say, somebody, you don't know how you came up in here. And the Lord delivered you. Somebody could have walked in with AIDS. He's the period when you come in and start dealing with his word. You don't know what's going on. How the Lord is protecting you and healing you, y'all. That's why we got to be mindful when he come here to the sanctuary. We come here for Thanksgiving with our praises with our lips. Because he's the one watching over us, keeping us, y'all. Go ahead, bro. Six. Yes, sir. No, oh, we got five. No, we just finished five. You just finished five? Okay, go ahead. All we like sheep have gone astray. We done gone astray. All of us done went astray, y'all. Go ahead. We have turned everyone to his own way. We done turned to what? His our own, own way. way. All of us have, y'all. There ain't no self in one person in him. Not except the one person in here. Ain't nobody perfect. We ain't started out perfect, y'all. But the Lord's showing us how we can become perfect, though. Go ahead. And the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us he all. He done laid that what? Iniquity of us all, y'all. Everybody. Not just him, but other people that are keeping his word, too, and keeping his commandments, y'all. Go ahead. Uh, verse 10. Yeah, go ahead. Skip down, 10. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. Uh-huh. Pleased the Lord to bruise him. He had put him to grief. Put him, boy, he put him to grief. Go ahead. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin. And he made his body, the soul, that that body, he made it an offering for sin, y'all. Go ahead and read. He shall see his seed. Uh -huh. He shall prolong his he days. He gonna prolong his days because he gonna live forever, y'all. Go ahead. And the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. And all the pleasure of the Lord gonna prosper in his hand because of what? 
He was sent on a mission to save creation. And that's what he came to do, save creation, y'all. Praise God. We got opportunity to be in the kingdom. All over the head is flown straight to the lake of fire. But he gave us the opportunity to get to the kingdom. We was in a pit that was no water. But the Lord gave opportunity to make it to the kingdom. But like I say, we can't pass up so great opportunity, y'all. Think about it. Can't do it. Think about it. On your best day, what you going to do? See what I'm saying? The whole point is you got to understand that, hey, this is a part of the life that he's telling you that you got to correct yourself and you got to do what he tells you to do. I can't change the word. I can't put nothing in there for me. I can't put nothing to say that make you go astray either. Got to get it to you 100. And they say, not do me 100. Where we at? Verse 11. Go ahead. He shall see of the travail of his soul. He don't see the travail of his soul. That's why I say he kind of ministry to him. It turned dark and he came down to minister to the sun. Go ahead and we. And shall be satisfied. He shall be what? Satisfied. Satisfied. Go ahead. By his knowledge uh -huh. shall my righteous servant justify me. Yes, sir. For he shall bear their iniquities. So now he said by the righteousness, right? right. His knowledge shall my ser righteous servant. So the knowledge he had of dealing with salvation, he came down to comfort it for the Father. He took on some, on a, some form of a servant. I go, you ain't got to go, I go. And he came down, he completed it. And that's what it's all about, y'all. I just pray God he gives us the opportunity to know what we're doing. We could have been out there hunting East Edge, y'all. Going to a pastor and got a full bucket full of money that day. Got so much money, he couldn't even take it and put it in a truck. That's how much money they got. they that one day of service. And you know we used to do it too, y'all. You know what we used to do it. I told you, why you pat me on, got boy put me on one of them got those lime green suits. Had a blowout, had the stacks on. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Mama had me fly going down there. Y'all have said on too? You couldn't tell me nothing. Look like a spike pen. And that's why I went up in there. We did it, y'all. So I can't condemn everybody. I can't say nothing because I ain't that all righteous. I didn't do that. And that's what we try and do is bring them up about the same thing. I can't tell them. I can't be out here attacking people, attacking people. No, it's time to give them understanding what they need to do. Right. Instead of talking about them all the time, show them what they got to do. Now, you had that point? You finished that? Yeah, 12. Uh, verse 12. Go ahead and read. Therefore will I divide him a portion with the great. Yes, sir. And he shall divide the spoil with the strong. Uh-huh. Because he had poured out his soul unto death. Yes, he did. You finished that. You finished that? Oh, my bad. Right oh, yeah. And he was numbered with the transgressors. Yes, sir. And he bare the sin of men. Uh-huh. And made intercession for the transgressors. And he made an intercession for us right now, brother sir. He said, look, give him one more chance, bro. Give him an opportunity to give himself right. He's going to get right. He had to prove you. Like you say, he put a few licks on you. You're going to get right. Right. Just understand that. God said, he loved those. He chest out who he what? He loved them. If he don't chest out them or he scourge them, then what are they? They are bastards. That's what the books say. They don't have no inheritance. So now he got to chastise us, brothers. Let's keep us correct. That's what the shepherd do for the sheep, right? He keep going out of the path, man. Listen, I told you stay on the path. Pop, pop. Get back over there with the rest of the sheep. That's just like a true shepherd, y'all. So now... Let's go further. I got a few more scriptures. Let you open some mail. Matthew 27. Matthew 27, brother. Boy, y'all all right? All right. Praise God. Thank God for another Sabbath day. Praise God for a safe flight. Praise God for the air we breathing. Praise God for the opportunity to come before him one more Sabbath. That means we one more Sabbath to the king. That's what it means. Think about it like that. One more Sabbath to the king. Unto the king. 27, and we're going to pick it up at verse 35, because we're going to read about Jesus now. 27 and 35. You get that, brother? Go ahead and read. And they crucified him. Yes, sir. And parted mm -hmm. his garments, uh -huh. cast in lots, yes. that it might be fulfilled which was spoken uh -huh. by the prophet. Uh -huh. They parted my garments among them. Yes. And upon my vesture did they cast lots. Yes. And sitting down, they watched him there, mm -hmm. and set up over his head his accusation written, this is Jesus, the king of the Jews. Why they don't say that now? What's wrong with saying he's the king of the Jews? He's my personal saint. Nobody talks about him being the king of the Jews, brother and sister. Why they don't say that? All in the scripture, they read everything in the scripture, so-called preachers, right. 
say they read everything in the scripture, but then again, when you come down and you listen to them, they don't say nothing about this king. They don't say nothing about him. Nor do they say anything about Captain Akita Day either. Go ahead. Then were there two thieves crucified with him. Uh-huh. One on the right hand and another on the left. So he was never with who? The transgressor. They're right beside him. Transgressor right there with him. He getting crucified, they right there with him. Go ahead and read. And they that passed by reviled him. Uh-huh. They, they, they reviled him, right? Right. They say they reviled him, man. We got to, man, I got to, I got to read the definition of this word because, you know, I had to deal with that definition because I sit down, I look there, I say, man, they still looking another way to try to tell them to come down from the cross. I'm like, oh, Lord, now, I thought we just did that. Let me see. I thought I wrote it down. Let me see. Hold on one second, y'all. I told these boys, they got, the fans got me going vice grip on me. They're shooting the bill. I'm trying to keep up with it. Hold on. Huh? I got it right here. Okay, yeah, go ahead, brother. I thought he put it. I didn't see it on the back. Thank you, brother. Revile. It ain't on my back, but it's on your back. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Hey, on my back, and on your back, bro. I printed it off. All right, thank you, brother. Appreciate it. Go ahead. Revile. <laughs> to abuse or to attack with evil words. Uh, to be the attack with evil words. Now, they sitting there. This Jesus on the cross. He's down for that sin. They're attacking him and trying to ridicule him and abusing him. And what they're saying, go ahead and keep reading and see what they say. Verse. Oh, uh, verse 40. Uh-huh. And saying... Thou that destroys the temple uh -huh. and buildest it in three days, yes, sir. save thyself. If thou be the son of God, come down from the cross. Ain't they still looking for a sign? They trying to get him to come down the cross, brother and sister. They still going, they still reviling against this man. Come down from the cross, man, then we'll believe. Keep reading. Likewise, also the chief priest mocking him with the scribe. What they say? The elder said, uh -huh. he saved others. Himself he cannot save. Yeah. If he be the king of Israel, let them now come down from the cross, and we will believe him. Now, they need that sign, y'all. This is what I'm saying. They need that sign to believe him. We have seen him, y'all, and yet we do believe him. We ain't looking for no sign. We understand that God is true. That's why you got to believe that he's true. And he's a reward of them that what? Didn't they seek him? We ain't never seen him, y'all. Right. But we can see the actions going on like who he is, though. He never failed to forsake us, y'all. Like I say, he might not come when you want him. But he always on time anymore. That's right. Always on time. That's right. And that's what we know for sure. So we know God do exist in our life. But you got to do what he tells you to do. Right. That's how it works. That's the operation. Go ahead. Where you at? 43. Go ahead. He trusted in God. <laughs> Let him deliver him now. Why? If he will, ha if he will have him. Right. But he said, I am the son of God. Huh. Ain't that something that's still, man? See that violent dude, man? People do you like that. Oh, you don't eat no pork? I'm going to eat this size. You want to pee? <laughs> Folk do you like that. Y'all want to do my go to the family together no more. Yeah, right. yeah, get out there and let's know you got don't eat no pork and all that stuff. See, like they don't put nothing on you can eat. Yeah. I tell you what, don't worry about me no more. I love y'all. But at the same time, y'all don't keep doing me like this when I come over here. Right. Boy, I tell you, he chitting the show take good. Your house stink too. Oh, he chitting the show take stay good. <laughs> Y'all be stinking all like boo boo, boy. You over there like, Lord, what y'all done did up in here? Y'all know them things stink. They stink, boy. You know how I ate them, but I ate them. Some hot sauce, some cold slaw. Piece of that light bread. I was in there. That's why I say we can't keep condemning everybody else because we went there. That's why I say everybody want to condemn somebody else, but you was in the same position they were at that time. Even Halloween, you did that, boy. I fed up in a little Batman costume, went out there and had trick or treat, give me something good to eat. <laughs> out there with all that. So why I'm condemning everybody else when I was there? Right. All I can do is have compassion and try to show them the correct way to serve God. Right. Can't get caught up in all this stuff going on. And that's where the love come in, y'all. That's where the long suffering come in, y'all. Right. And he that said, what did he say according to the word? He that went his soul mm -hmm. is wise. Not you who condemn everybody is wise. He that wins souls is wise. That's your job to win souls, not condemn everybody. It ain't that ain't it. You gotta restructure your plan if you think that's it. That's not it. He said he that wins soul, you got wisdom when you win soul. That's what it's all about, y'all. So now where we at, brother? Verse 44. Let me see what I want you to you got all that? Let me show you. Go ahead and read. 
The thieves also, which uh -huh. were crucified with him, uh -huh. passed the same in his teeth. Yes, sir. Now, from the sixth hour, there was darkness over all the land until the ninth hour. Uh -huh. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. That is to say, my God, my God. So we know that the darkness came on the land about 3 o'clock, they say, according to this time. I might be wrong. I say I'll be getting stuff. But that same hour was dark in the land. Right. And he told him, he said, look at him. Why is God forsaken me? Because he's been on that cross, y'all. Y'all took this beating, right? And he's sitting there here on the cross. He's like, dog, God, you done forsaken me. I've been up all the time. I'm telling you, man, I know it could feel good. If you ever been in pain, y'all, and they don't give you your medication for your pain, boy, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's a pain you don't want to feel. Boy, I was trying to buy every prescription, not even prescription, but it, I still had to go downtown to get me some, some pepper fit. <laughs> but I know I had that pill, that fit all in. If I went and got it, it would have killed me, y'all. That's how bad it was. I wanted to go down, boy, I'd give me one of them Percocet, bro. <laughs> But I couldn't do it because I thought it was going to kill me because I know they use that feeling all. So you had to bear with that pain all through the night. Nobody can tell you how that pain is except my wife. Nobody knows what she's been. I pray God for my wife. Because at the end of the day, boy, they don't want to got your back. But sometimes you go through so much, she can't do nothing but help. She can't do nothing to help me, but she with me. That's suffering, you know? And that's why I say love your spouse, y'all. Love your husband. Love your wife. Don't always figure out something to say bad about them. What they do, what they can't do, nothing else. Just love them. It's going to be all right. Because the whole point is, you ain't perfect either. Yeah. If you got him in the socks, you left in the bathroom. And <laughs> on the way, you don't left in the bathroom. Right. She got to go behind you and pick up something. Yeah. Oh, you don't know he want to fix something. He take about two weeks, three weeks to fix it. You keep on there, fix it, baby. You don't get fit. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Keep it real, y'all. You know, we both got our, we both got our, hey, we got, both of us got problems. Both of us got way we do, we got going on. Still love on them, though. Every time you look around, boy, she say, hey, boy, I, I, boy, I, I, hey, listen, I, I ain't got no problem. You won't go, go ahead, baby. But every time be straight up, I tell you, as long as I be looking around, the light's going to come back on, we got a problem. <laughs> no, when I gave you money to go pay the light bill, we got a problem now. <laughs> gave you the money to go pay it, what happened? <laughs> Just love on each other, y'all. This world, boy, trying to separate the marriages. Y'all pay attention to what's going on. Now, that was it? Where you at? We, uh, yeah, that was it. That was in the Okay. Six. All right, praise God. So he cried aloud to the Lord, and he went through all that pain, y'all. Sacrificed his body for us. And that's why I say we're supposed to be grateful. We're supposed to give him the honor. And that's what the Passover represents. That we give him the honor. That he died for our sins, y'all. And it can't be no other way but that, you know? So now, let's keep going further. I ain't got but a couple more scriptures. I'm finna let y'all up for hell now. Well, let me find no more scripture. Put them in too. Let's go Exodus 12 chapter. Go back there. That's on your sheet too? Yeah. Okay. All right. I gotta check his sheet now. They got stuff on the back. I ain't know about it. What else on the back, man? Hold on. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, y'all. Just have to check with him, because you got to see like you got stuff on the back. <laughs> Exodus 12, chapter, y'all. Exodus 12. Praise God, y'all. Praise God, y'all hanging out. Y'all hung out with me. Like I said, I'm sorry for the delay, y'all. But we made it. We made it. But that's why I say you got to pray when you get on that plane, because you might have had a bad day. <laughs> boy, yeah, boy, I ain't lying. <laughs> I be thinking about stuff like that. I'm ready to go. I don't want to live no more. You got about 260 people on the plane. I don't want to run to one of those one day. <laughs> That's why I be praying before I get on that plane. Boy. Can't be like, well, I can't stand it. I'm through with the whole thing. I don't say, yeah. Don't take me with you, party. Jump out. Do something. No, don't jump out. Land then you go back up. <laughs> what? I'm telling you, y'all. Lord have mercy. Now, let's go, buddy. Let's go to Exodus 12 chapter, brother. We're going to pick it up 43. Because the stipulation that comes along with this, dealing with this uh, Passover, y'all. I'm speaking to the men now. And every time we bad time, baptize somebody, we always ask them the question, are you circumcised? And it has to be, like I said, it's got to be an honor system on that, because I ain't finna look at nobody naked. <laughs> make sure they're circumcised. They ain't finna have them. I'm going to take your word for it.
All right, brother. Exodus 12, 43. You get that, brother? Go ahead and read. And the Lord said unto Moses and Aaron. What did he say? This is the ordinance of the Passover. Uh -huh. There should no stranger eat thereof. Go ahead and keep reading, though. But every man's servant that is bought for money, uh -huh. without his circumcised uh -huh. then shall he eat thereof. So money. whoever bought with money, you circumcise him, then he can eat thereof. Mm -hmm. They can't walk up and say, you ain't yeah, circumcised, you ain't going to take it to pass. That's why we have to let everybody know if you're a male and you're not circumcised, don't partake of this Passover. Because you have to you gotta complete everything the Lord told you to eat the order, the ordinance to partake of the to partake of the Passover. Right. But now skip down to verse uh 48 and read. And when a stranger shall sojourn with thee, yes, sir. and will keep the Passover yes, to the Lord, Lord. Uh -huh. let all his males be circumcised. Side, yes. And then let him come near and keep it. Keep it, right. And he shall be as one that is born in the land. Uh-huh. For no uncircumcised person shall eat thereof. So he just explained what I just explained. No uncircumcised right. person shall eat thereof. So we make sure you understand that, brother and sister. No uncircumcised person eat thereof. Go ahead and keep reading. One law shall be to him uh -huh. that is home born. Uh-huh. And unto the stranger that sojourneth among you. So, so far, so... So what for the Israel gonna partake of the Passover, right? Right. He said, whoever strange or whatever, as long as he's circumcised, he can partake of it. But he's telling you that's the ordinance of dealing with this Passover. I got something else to bring to you as well, brother and sister. And we gotta read this before we get out of here because a lot of people they think taking this thing on word. Yeah. Check yourself. Check yourself and make sure you're dealing with the word of God and keeping this commandment before you take it to Passover. And we're gonna read that to you. Let's go to 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians. 23rd chapter. Because you got to make sure you word it, brother. So you can't be out here shutting it down. And you're going to come at, yeah, let me say it slowly. 2 Corinthians 11th chapter. And we're going to pick it up at verse 23. Hey, children, ain't nobody saying today, children. <laughs> oh, what happened to the children, man? Quiet. What happened, y'all? Y'all know what I'm saying? I ain't see nothing cheering today. I'm hoping I hear the cheering saying. Who's not a spirit? Let's see what happened. Let's see what happened. All right. Let me, I want to make sure I'm in the right place. Oh, no. No, hold on. Oh, they, they, they ain't the right one. Might be first print. I know it'd be one or two. Let's go back to one. Yeah, it's, it's one. My bad. Y'all yeah, know if it ain't one, it's two. I already know if it ain't two, it's one. <laughs> How you get that together right there, y'all? Yeah, that first Corinthians, sister. Let mark that part out right now. And 23. Praise God, we got a cheering class. Praise God. Bring them up in the Lord too, y'all. Mm -hmm. Pray over your kids, y'all. Pray over the children, y'all. Gotta pray now. There's so much going on in school, sister, boy. I'm telling you. Keep your hands, boy. Put them all on me, y'all. Pray for them before they go to school. That's the evil place right there. Pray that they watch over them they go to school, too, from all the evil that's in that school. All right. 23, we're going to go ahead and read it, brother. Go ahead. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you. Uh-huh. That the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, uh -huh. took bread. Yes. And when he I'm had... I'm sorry, been, we missed something. Matthew, the 12th chapter. I know I can't leave that out. Matthew 12. Y'all, y'all let me forget what's going on with y'all today. Y'all, you let me know if I missed something. Ain't it on y'all pay? Yeah. Well, y'all let me go straight through it, y'all. No, I ain't the ball. Y'all the ball. Y'all got the y'all got the scripture y'all left too. Y'all gotta keep me on point. I looked and I said, I know something missing. When I started reading that, I said, well, I kind of try to keep everything tight. You know, that when I I didn't see it, I like, oh, something missing. Well, y'all got me, hold on. Let's go back to Roman 10. They, see that what I'm saying? Y'all see, y'all wanna keep me in check. Ain't nobody, I'm gonna have to jump a reader too. I don't wanna find him. I'm about to find a reader. Boy, I tell <laughs> he let me miss it. Hold on, hold on, read. Read it, I let me miss everything. Hold on, read. I thought you were doing it on purpose. No, nah, man, I wasn't doing it on purpose, man. I was there, boy. 
You got to keep me straight, boy. I'll be all over the place. Well, you definitely got to keep me straight. All right, we'll go back to it, y'all. Pray God, yo. God brought it to my mind, said to deal with it. Pray God for that. Yes, sir. What else I miss? I miss something else, bro. Man, you ain't me with a whole lot of stuff. Yeah, you. I did. Boy, I, boy, I thank, thank, thank God for y'all. Boy, I see y'all on prayer. All right, then. Okay. Okay, we good. We good. Okay, then. Now, I don't see it on my page, though. Yeah, I do. I see it now. After, yeah, after Matthew 27. Yeah, I got it now. I got it. Yeah, I did. You right. You right, brother. All right, yeah, you right. Praise Jesus. All right, yeah, praise the Lord. Okay. Now, my PM is some spots, boy. I'm telling you. Leviticus. Let's go to Leviticus 23 and we just look at it because a whole lot was missing in that. Again, we're going to have to catch Leviticus 23 and read down again. Yeah, right. We're going to do that. We got a little time. Yeah, we got time. Somebody told me to take my time, so I get that what they meant then. Because <laughs> <laughs> it happened like this, so I did take my time. We're going to deal with him later. Yeah, yeah, we'll deal with the reader later, y'all. <laughs> don't throw them tails at him now. Have mercy, y'all. Have mercy, don't, don't throw them tails at him. All right. 23, brother. We're going to pick it up in verse 1. Right. Got to keep the thing tight. All right. Go ahead and read. 23 and 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, uh -huh. Speak unto the children of Israel, Go and ahead. say unto them, Yes, sir. Concerning the feast of the Lord. But, but, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. One minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, y'all. We're going to get together, y'all. The biggest four chapter. That's what was wrong. I know some of the biggest four. I'm sorry, y'all. We get it right. Four. Yeah, four. Not four. Four. The biggest fourth chapter. I'm sorry about that, y'all. Like I said, I'll be caught up sometime on lesson. But we're going to make it right, y'all. Bible study class. That's what it is. That's what it's called. Keep studying the Bible, then. Thank y'all for your help. My error, y'all. All right, we're going to pick up verse 1. Go ahead and read, brother. <clears throat> and the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, What did he say? Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, uh -huh. If a soul shall sin through ignorance against any of the commandments of the Lord uh -huh. concerning things which are not to be done, yes. and shall do against any of them. So now, it always was some kind of way that you can offer offering for ignorance. Yeah. Not on purpose now. Understand what's going on. You're not doing everything. It ain't on purpose. It's that you did something in ignorance. Go ahead and read. If the priest that is anointed do sin according to the sin of the people, uh -huh. then let him bring for his sin, which he had sinned, a young bullock, without blemish, Not blemish, unto the Lord for a sin offering. Go ahead. And he shall bring the bullock unto the door of the tabernacle uh -huh. of the congregation before the Lord. Yes. And shall lay his hand upon the bullock's head uh -huh. and kill the bullock before the Lord. For the Lord. Verse 5. And the priest that is anointed shall take of the bullock's blood uh -huh. and bring it to the tabernacle of the congregation. So now he got to take that blood and bring it to the tabernacle of the congregation. Go ahead and read. And the priest shall dip his finger in the blood uh -huh. and sprinkle of the blood seven times before the Lord, uh -huh. before the veil of the sanctuary. So now he got to take that same blood. He got to dip it in the blood. He got to go before the veil, right? I'm just right. saying the veil. I ain't saying the real veil. I'm just saying you an example. Seven times. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Seven times. Cover the sins of man, but we dealing with the blood of Jesus now. Right. So he does cover the seven thousand years, the blood which is the from the veil, which is his flesh. That doesn't change. That doesn't change there, the ordinance of everything. Go ahead and keep reading. Oh, verse 13. 13, yes, sir. And if the whole congregation of Israel sinned through ignorance. Sin through ignorance. I always made a made a what he put adjustment on it. If they sin through what? Ignorance, ignorance brothers and sisters. Go ahead and read. And the thing be hid from the eyes of the assembly, uh -huh. and they have done some somewhat against any of the commandments of, of the Lord. And the commandments of the Lord concerning things, go ahead. Concerning things which should not be, be done, done, and are guilty. And are guilty, but it got to be done in ignorance, y'all. Go ahead and read. When the sin which they have sinned against it is known, uh -huh. then the congregation shall offer a young bullock for the sin. Uh -huh. And bring him before the tabernacle of mm -hmm. the congregation. That's right. So we got to take a young bullock. So we still dealing with young bullock. And let's go ahead and skip down. Though. We still dealing with priesthood. The animal sacrifices. Skip down to 16 to read. 
and the priest that is anointed shall bring of the bullock's blood to the tabernacle of the congregation. Okay, go ahead. And the priest shall dip his finger in some of the blood uh -huh. and sprinkle it seven times before the Lord, even before the veil. So we still talking about that seven times. We talking about the seventh thousand year. The man is this. When you get to the eight thousand year, that's something we're gonna be totally something different. Get to the eight thousand year, that's it. We're gonna be immortal, y'all. Whatever place you're gonna be, that's where you're gonna be. Ain't no change up on it. You don't gonna be in the lake of fire, or you're gonna be in the kingdom of God. That's the total, that's the end game of everything right there. When you get that new body. Ain't no more change to take place. Where you are, that's where you're gonna be. Right. So you gotta make it in your mind where you're gonna be, whether it's gonna be on the good side of the kingdom or the bad side of the kingdom, meaning the lake of fire. Alright? Where we at now, brother? 18. Go, so we at 17. You do 17? Yeah, we did 17. Skip down to 20 and read. 20. And he shall do with the bullock as he did with the bullock for a sin offering. Uh -huh. So shall he do with this. Yes. And the priest shall make an atonement for them. Uh -huh. And it shall be forgiven them. And so it shall be forgiven. That's why we say this, Jesus died. Now we're forgiven through his body once and for all. Amen. We ain't got to go to the priest no more. We ain't got to take the offering before the priest. He done it through his own flesh. Now we got to keep reading. Let's go to Romans the 10th chapter. See, we missed that. No, go back to Hebrews 11. Yeah, Hebrews 10 and 11. Appreciate you, man. We're going to get it right. We're tying it together, I tell you. That's why I said I know I missed something. And I knew I missed something. I'm like, boy, what did I miss? I know. When you put these class together, Lord, don't put it on you at the point. Hey, if something missing out of it, boy, you know. We needed that, brother. Yes, sir. Hey, hey, boy, I pray. Jesus, I, I said, I was like, man, what's up? Miss? You start reading that last part, I'm missing a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> Because it didn't come together the way I wanted to. Where well, the Lord gave it to me. Mm -hmm. Put it like that. All right, Hebrews 10, we're going to pick it up at verse 11. Let's see what he's talking about as far as we ain't dealing with that animal sacrifice no more. Let's go and read what it says. Go ahead. And every priest standeth daily, ministering and offering oftentimes the same sacrifices which can never take away sins. Say so what? Never take away sins, y'all. Same right. sacrifice, they can never take away sins. Now we get some understanding from it. Now go ahead. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, uh -huh. sat down on the right hand of God. Uh -huh. From henceforth, expecting till his enemies be made his footstool. From henceforth, what? Expecting till his enemies be made his footstool. So now we know we read that uh, Psalms one, that Psalms uh, one, uh, one, uh, one, what is it, one ten, that there was verse one, and then there was verse four. He's told you that. He said you had all that to Melchizedek. So this is a priesthood that's gonna never die, y'all. Right. Men died out that priesthood, but got an in a non-changeable priesthood. Where we at? 14. Go ahead and read. For by one offering he had perfected forever them that are sanctified. Uh-huh. Skip the 18. For one offering he what? Perfected them that are sanctified. That are what sanctified. Now you skip down to 15. 18. 18. 18. 18. Yeah, go ahead, 18. I'm sorry. Now, what remission of these is, there is no more offering for sin. Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus. By the who? Blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, brothers and sisters. Say where you at. One more time. Uh, we at 20 now. 20. Verse 20. Okay, yeah, got the page keep blowing, man. I'm all confused. I'm like, oh, I'm dumb on somewhere. Roman, then I'm back in Hebrew. Okay, now I'm straight. I'm straight. I'm straight. Right. Go ahead and read, brother. God Almighty, boy, these praises blowing here. I don't know. Everybody need to turn on one fan or something. I'm, they flip back and then they go back this way. Okay, I'm straight now. I'm straight. Go ahead, brother. All right, verse 20. Verse 20. Go ahead. By a new and living way. New and living way, uh huh? Which he had consecrated for us. Uh huh? Through the veil, that is to say, his he flesh. He said through the veil that what? His flesh, y'all. That's what it's all about. We're away from now the sacrifice because we have to do the whole thing. We don't need no more blood to go before the veil. And we're going to show you that in the scriptures as well. Now, skip down to 20. 21. Yeah, keep reading. Keep reading. Keep reading. Keep reading. And having an high priest over the house of God. Yes, sir. Let us draw near with a true heart uh -huh. and full assurance of faith. Yes, sir. And having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience. And that's what it's all about. Now we got our hearts sprinkled from evil conscience because we got the blood of Jesus. That's what he told us. Now he's sprinkling our heart from all the evil conscience because we don't have to take it back and no more uh, animal sacrifices. Because it couldn't take away sin. This time he done died. Now we can see that the whole point is that he had to take that away because he couldn't take away sin. So now his body he prepared for God prepared for him. Now we're going through the veil, which is his flesh. 
Right. Now we covered in the blood of Jesus forever. Mm -hmm. Ain't no inter interchangeable priesthood. We got a priesthood that lasts forever, y'all, under Melchizedek. Right. right. Go ahead. And our bodies washed with pure water. So our bodies are washed with pure water. Because that's why we coming to coming to coming into Jesus. That pure water. We talking about dealing with the baptism. Because what he does, it takes away. When you get baptized, you tell you going in for the remission of all your sin. Mm -hmm. That's what it's all about. And that's why we got baptized. Let us know that we can't be no longer partake of sin. We can't do it, y'all. That's what it's all about. So we get baptized in the name of Jesus. So we too can receive what? The gift of the Holy Spirit. We're leading God in what? All truth, y'all. Right. Go ahead. Uh, skip to 26. Yes, sir. Go ahead, brother. For we sin with So we sin with. Now, here's the point you need to really pay attention to right here. What do you say? For if we sin willfully. So if we sin willfully. After that, we have received the knowledge of the truth. Now that we don't see the knowledge, y'all. Go ahead and read. There remained no more sacrifice for sin. And it says no more sacrifice for sin, right? Right. Go ahead and keep reading. But a certain fearful looking for of judgment uh -huh. and fiery indignation. Go ahead. Which shall devour the adversary. He's going to devour the adversary. Those against Christ don't want to keep his commandment. He said it's going to be a what? Certain fearful looking mm -hmm. for the judgment of fiery, fiery indignation. Which shall devour what? The adversaries, those that don't keep the commandments of God, y'all. Yep. But I got to read to y'all something because when you read this, we got to understand that you do, and you willfully sin, it does remain that fearful look, looking for that fire. But we got to read something to you. I got to read it to you. Let's go to, uh, right quick, I'm just going out there. I'll, I'll, I'll read it right now. Let's go to uh, Proverbs 28 because we got to show it to you. Because leave, you leave out of here, you think you mess up one time, you're done, right? Mm -hmm. I can't leave you with that. It's always going to be hope. As long as you live, it's going to be hope. As long as you live, it's going to be hope. You just can't continue to do the same thing you did. Let me see what I wanted there. Hold on. 13. <laughs> 13. We're going to pick it up. 28, 13, y'all. Y'all with me? Mm -hmm. I got to leave with this. I can't leave that hanging right there because I wouldn't be right if I left you like that. You still got opportunity, but you can't keep doing the same sin, y'all. You're going to sin willfully, and you turn, need to turn away from that sin. Pick it up at 13, let's read. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper. He said what? He that covereth his sins shall not so prosper. So you can't cover your sin, brother, so like I told you, he know what you're doing. You ain't going to prosper either. He know what you did. But let's keep reading, though. But whoso confesseth and so, forsaketh So him. now, he ain't saying confess to somebody else. He that confesseth to who? The Lord. Lord. He waiting you to go to him, not nobody else. He the only one can absolve you from that sin you've done. Come to him. Confess your sin. And what does it say, brother? Whoso confess it uh -huh. and forsake it, no. And, and do what? Forsake So it. you got to forsake that sin, y'all. Yeah. If somebody mess up, you got to forsake the sin that you've done, brother and sister. You know what I'm saying? You can't keep doing the same thing over and over and over again thinking something good going to come out of it. Or that you won't get some you're going to get some forgiveness for it. He told you confess it first. But Satan then what he say going to happen? Them shall have mercy. And then he going to have what? Mercy. Mercy. That's when you get the mercy. But you got to turn away from that sin, brothers. You can't keep doing that willful sin. I'm not saying it won't happen. But you can't keep doing it. Read the next verse. Happy is the man that feareth all. So ways. that's the point you need to get to. Happy is the man that feareth all the time. Mm -hmm. So you won't be getting in them situations where you're going to see it willful. You won't get that sense when you're going to do something against the word of God. Because you fear. Go ahead and read. But he that hardened it is heart. But if you're going to harden that head up. Shall fall into mischief. you're going to do what you want to do. And you're going to follow the mission. And that mission, brothers and sisters, might be the lake of fire. You can't recover yourself. Understand that, y'all. I couldn't leave you with that last verse. I had to let you know what goes on right here. So now, let's go further. Now we go back to who? The Romans 10, right? Yeah, Romans 10. We're going to connect it all together, y'all. We got it coming. Whew, thank you, Jesus. Like I said, I know something. Miss, I was getting through too fast. Boy, I was speed. Boy, we speed reading over here. Romans 10. All right. And we're going to pick up verse 1. Romans 10 and 1. Romans 10 and 1. Because we've seen a lot of stuff going on, boy. Everywhere I went to a church, everybody outside looking for some eggs. I'm like, what's going on, boy? Like, everybody had an easy egg hunt. I'm like, why? But then the God showed me the scripture right here. I'm like, wow. 
And that's what's going on, brother. So we got to read and see what's going on because people don't understand what's happening in this world. They got no knowledge of God. They think they come up with anything and make it righteous. But go ahead, let's read it, though. Go ahead. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. And they what? Might be, might be saved. saved. Well, we're looking at the teaching now. They're teaching Israel all kind of stuff, man. Mm -hmm. You should watch them teach them all kind of stuff. They don't want Christmas and Easter and all this stuff. Right. But go ahead and keep reading, though. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. Now, they got the zeal, y'all. I mean, they truly got the zeal. You look around, they got their zeal tight. We look around, boy, they come to every function, everything. They come out there to support everybody, paint the eggs, everybody doing whatever they do to get everything going. They got the zeal, but not according to knowledge, y'all. Go ahead and read. For they, being ignorant of God's righteousness. Uh -oh. Now, they being ignorant of God's what? Righteousness. If they ignorant of God's commandment, they can say anything commandment then, can't they? That's right. Smoking and drinking is now. That's that. Uh, you can't smoke and drink. Can't dance to club music. Can't go to the club. You can't do none of that. So they add all this stuff to it. You can't wear no shot. You can't do nothing. Mm -hmm. right. But they ain't talking about no commandments, though. Right. But they added all that stuff. You can't smoke. It ain't good for you. you. Can't drink. But at the same time, they ain't putting no righteousness on the table. They ain't putting no commandments on the table. Right. Go ahead and read. And going about to establish their own righteousness. And we just said that. They're going about to what? Establish, establish their, their own. own righteousness. The Easter thing was so big. Like I said, they establish their own righteousness. You can't tell nobody they ain't right who went to Easter service. Oh, he rose. Oh, my God died. They get passionate about who Ooh, he, they beat him. When I seen that passionate the Christ, they were still out there eating piggy or something. They ain't changed. Nothing they like. They still going over to the girlfriend house. Me and Mary going over to a digger house. All that was going on still that they were seeing the passion of Christ. So that didn't do no good. Still out there sinning against God. Because they didn't know what it meant dealing with the past. So go ahead and read. Have not submitted them. Have them uh, let's go, go back. And going about to establish their own righteousness. Yes. Have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. So that means they have submitted themselves to the commandments of God. That's why we read them. Every time we come in here. Because you got to submit yourself to this, this commandment right here. And that's what we're trying to let everybody know. You've got to submit yourself to the will of God dealing with this commandment. Go ahead and read. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believes. He said everyone that what? Believe it. Believe. And we just read that to the self. Something as true, for sure of the truth of. So we understand Jesus came to die by sin, y'all. Right. That's the whole purpose he came to die. Die that we may have life and have it more everlasting, y'all. Y'all want to feel what love feel like for real love? And ain't talking about the love that you're talking about, the desires and all that stuff. I'm talking about true love. I'm talking about have peace, too. Some of y'all want to see what peace feel like? Are you sure we ain't getting it today? This peace that they give, the world give. We're talking about the peace that God gives, y'all. Mm -hmm. That kind of peace. Where about nobody talking about you behind your back, tail bearing and all that stuff? All of y'all got the same penny. Ain't nobody getting no more. Everybody got a penny. Think you better than somebody now, but you got a penny too. Stop playing. You got on the same robe, you got the same crown on. We ain't got no reason to be out, you know, be jealous of nobody, envious of nobody. God set it up just like that now. Now he gonna set it up like it's supposed to be. Everybody on Facebook trying to follow what they got and all that stuff. Who cares? He gonna get old, he gonna tear up the house, go hell, all that stuff, gonna decay. Everybody show make you jealous of what they doing. And it makes you want to covet, y'all. The Lord show we are, we ain't supposed to be caught up in covetous practices. I'm going to turn that stuff off because they faking it anyway. They took a picture with somebody else called. Amen. Went to somebody else and had it in front of their house and took a picture. Fake you out, make you think they doing good. You are sitting at home just looking at your team. Oh, I wish I could have been like you. Man, y'all need to stop that. That what's going on, y'all. Y'all better stop. Lord gave, you, Lord gave you the life you're supposed to live. And however you turned out, it turned out the way he wanted to turn out. If he want to add some more to you, give something extra, he'll give it to you. That's how it's going to work. No other kind of way around. Because I know, boy, everybody want to hit that lot, old boy. You look at me like, what? It's down on a million, boy. I just need a piece of it, Lord. I don't need the whole thing. I just need a piece. And when you keep playing, boy, you're going to keep getting the whole thing. He's going to let you have it. You know, you have to understand what it is. He needs you to call for him. 
Now, when you think you did, you ain't going to pray. No, you know you ain't going to do that much praying. You need the Lord, boy, you pray, boy, you pray. You need him. You yeah, you need him. That's right. You, boy, you going to pray, pray, pray. Midnight, you get up, boy, I don't want to get out of there, I got to pray. And that's exactly how it be, y'all. You know, if you don't need him, then who you, you going to pray to? Nobody. Now, what I'm saying, you did everything, did But, hey, pray to God, y'all. Now, where we at now, brother? Uh... Matthew chapter 12. Thank you. All right, thank you. Now you back on track, man. I started to bite you, but you back. <laughs> Matthew 12. Now go to Matthew 12. Let's deal with this, y'all. Pray to Jesus, y'all. It always is all good, man. Like I said, it come down. Man, the fa best family you got. We all we got, brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. uh, you go to your own family, boy. It seems like you can't get no love. You love them. But it seems like you can't, man. I love them to death. Try my best to give them this understanding, you know. And the end of the time, at the end of the day, you just, like I say, the only thing that can happen is the Lord got the Father got to draw them, you know? When you understand it, you just pray to the Lord, the Father that he draw them to him, you know, to his son Jesus. So they get to save salvation, you know? Right. All right, now, 12 and 38. Let's pick it up, cop boy. Somebody show me this right here, boy. They had to miss this. You think that don't even exist in the Bible when you read this. Come on, I'm telling you, I don't know how they did it. You take it to a wheel. Long he wrote. Man, that's a man. Let read it, bro. Go ahead. This certain of the scribes and of the Pharisees answered, saying, Master, we would see a sign from thee. So we know they were doing that when he was on the cross, then. Right. Come down, now. If you come down, we'll believe you, man. Instead of trying to get him to do a, give a sign to adultery generation, still ain't give him a sign. He had to die and say it's finished and give up the ghost. He couldn't come down. Right. He had to complete the mission that him and the father set up. Going to him going down and down for the sins of the world, y'all. Go ahead. But he answered and said unto What do you say? An evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign. They were doing it then too. Go ahead. And there shall no sign be given to it. Uh -huh. But the sign of the prophet Jonas. So now the sign of the prophet Jonas, he told you no sign be given, but the sign of the prophet, the prophet Jonas, right? Right. Well, stop playing. We finna go read. Right. So I got a little time. I tell you, a little time. What time is it? Boy, I got here late, y'all. He trying to stay all the time. <laughs> but pray God, y'all. I just got it. I just got it, man. I just want to look at it because that's the only sign he's going to give. So let's read the sign. Let's read. You want verse 40? Or? Yes, sir. You know where it is. Right. For it's Jonas. That's it. Oh. Hold that till we get back. I got you. <laughs> Jonas. Pick it up in verse 17, 20 and 17. Cause we gotta we gotta read it, y'all. Cause the Lord told them, go back and read Jonah. They don't even read the old testament, do it. Nope, so they couldn't even see the sign of Jonah here because they want they new testament Christian. So you gotta go back and read what Jonah said, y'all. Why would you tell you to read something you don't read? Yes, sir. 1 and 17. Jonah, 1 and 17, y'all. Go ahead and read it, brother. Now the Lord had prepared a great fish to swallow up Jonah. Uh-huh. And Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. That's the sign he gave him, right? That's right. He ain't give him that. Now he just told him, go ahead. Go read Jonah. See what happened to Jonah. That's the sign. That's the only sign I'm going to get. So now you got to do something. You got to read. Ain't going to be nothing that there. I'm supposed to. I go slap the brother head. He going to fall out and kick all on the ground. None of that. Ain't no sign given. We just going to read the book. Let's go. Matthew 12, 38. Yeah, pray to God, y'all. Had to go back and read it too. We read it, right? Right. He told you that's the sign he's gonna give, right? Right. And that's what we dealing with. That's what we dealt with. Go ahead. Start at 38. Now, 38 again. Let's read it. I'm gonna get up out of here, y'all. I just looked at the time, boy. I've been up for a minute in it. But I got here late though, though. Okay, I'm trying to see what's going on. Okay. <laughs> I thought time flipped back. I would go, y'all go back two hours, y'all go ahead two hours. No, I'll get confused at the end. All right, brother. Pick it up, 38. Then certain of the scribes and of the Pharisees answered. What did they say? Master, we would see a sign from thee. Okay. But he answered and said unto them, Uh huh. An evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign. Yes, sir. And there shall no sign be given to it, but the sign of the prophet Jonas. Yes. 
For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the well's belly. So we just read that. Go ahead and read. So shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. So now he said that the Son of Man going to be what? Three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. So why in the world can you get from Good Friday? Good Friday. Now this came out of the mouth of Jesus. Ain't we reading the red, y'all? Yeah. It read in y'all Bible. Yeah. I just want to mention the red letter because we're talking about, man, that don't mean that. I, if he couldn't be the Messiah, he lied. He said, I'm a, I'm a, well, I'm God. I'm not a man and I should lie. Right. Why are you going to lie about us in resurrection before they're coming out of the grave? So now, we got to pick up three days, three nights. We know when night you die because we got the, all, all y'all got the calendars, right? Okay, make sure we got the calendar together. I want to make sure y'all got it. Got Let's go ahead. Okay, we'll send it and find out what happened. All right? He told you, where's the night? What? One night, mm -hmm. Thursday night, two night, Friday night, three night. So we know we got Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and he rides right before the Sabbath day, y'all. Mm -hmm. So how did he get the Sunday then? That's what I'm saying. The whole thing is a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie, and you can't make it the truth, y'all. So we know about the Messiah, but it's got to be done in the knowledge of Jesus and what? In righteousness, y'all. That's what it's all about. So now, let's go further. We did that part. Now I just need the second Corinthians, right? Because we did other. Yeah, we did Exodus chapter 12. Yeah, I said second. First Corinthians. You're right. Thank you for correcting me. First all Corinthians. right. All right. Verse 23. First Corinthians. All right. Now we got that right, right? Be straight, everybody. All right, praise Jesus, y'all. Praise Jesus, man. Praise Jesus. I'm glad. Glad we got that in order. Y'all had me up here sweat. I'm sweating because he turned out the other fan. That's what it is. <laughs> Somebody snuck up here and turned it off. I'm kind of comfortable until I got that, that second fan went off, but I'm feeling the heat now. I can't turn. Slipped up here and turned out the fan. Twenty-three. Go ahead and read, brother. For I have received of the Lord that which is, that which also I delivered unto you. Uh -huh. That the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. Uh -huh. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, "Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of so me." So he said that that body was broken for you. He went through so much. He said that this body that you would take of the bread, symbolic through the breaking that went through his body. Man, they beat him and beat him and beat him. He's trying to let you know that. It ain't about just coming up in here. We get together. Everybody take the bread and the wine, the gun blend bread and the wine, they be gone. No, you got to understand what he we went through. Right. Let it resonate in your mind with all the sacrifice he did for you to save you from the lake of fire. It's not one of those things you just come up and take it like it's a party or something. No. You got to be understanding what's went on in the, at this date and what understanding what happened in the past, though. Keep reading, bro. After the same manner also, he uh -huh. took the cup when he had supped, saying, uh -huh. This cup is the New Testament in my blood. In the blood. This do ye, as oft as you drink it, in remembrance of me. So now he said, he told you also, he said, the cup, he said, what's up? This cup is the New Testament in my blood because he had to die for the, for the testament to take, uh, to take effect that somebody had to die. So this is the blood that he shared for what? For our sin. And also, he told you right here, he said, do it often in remembrance of me. And they messed that up, too. You can't have no Passover every no, community, whatever, every third and fourth Sunday. No, you can't. After a while, you're going to forget when, your, whatever, when, your, when the day happened. Mm -hmm. right. Like, come on, man. He said, I'm going to do this often in remembrance of me, but in his what? Season. Season. That's how you do it. Not no every third and fourth Sunday. Like I said, they started to fulfill their own righteousness. Right. Making up their own commandments and laws. Got nothing to do with Jesus. If for the church body, they want the money. Go ahead. For as often as ye eat this bread uh -huh. and drink this cup, yes. ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Till he come. You better memorial for you understanding what he did for your sin. And he covered you with your sins because of the blood that he shed for you. He covered you with the blood, not the individual. You keep the commandments that the activation of the blood because he see you. As far as you being covered in the covenant dealing with Jesus, the blood. Go ahead and read. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread uh -huh. and drink this cup of the Lord uh -huh. unworthily. Uh, what? Unworthily. He said take this blood unworthily. 
shall be guilty of the body uh -huh. and blood of the Lord. So now he's talking about unworthy, brother. So what we saying, you're not keeping no commandments, you're not keeping the word of God, then you take it unworthy. Cause he died for you to have right into the kingdom of God. And he did it, and he to cover your salvation for all that the, all those that who? Obey him. Mm -hmm. And all this, all this is governed if you obey him. That's what he became the author of salvation. And that you're supposed to obey him, brother and sister. That's why he's taking unworthy, because you're breaking his commandments. And not keeping the covenant that you made with him. Go ahead and read. But let a man examine himself. You start examining, y'all. Check yourself. I don't know what you've been doing. Don't nobody else know what you've been doing. You know what you've been doing, though. So you better, boy, you better say, better examine yourself. Make sure you're worthy. If you think you're unworthy, you better hold it out. Don't take it. Until the next go round, pray the Lord he have mercy upon you till you get to the next pass. So think about that. You better, boy, you better check yourself. Go ahead and read. And so let him eat of that bread uh -huh. and drink of that cup. So now, if you did all that, examine yourself, then you take part of that bread because you examine yourself to make sure that you were in righteousness of God. Keeping his commandments, y'all. Go ahead and read. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily. So now he that eateth, and you still out here sinning against God, or you're not circumcised, what does it say, brother? And drink it unworthily. And you drink it unworthily? Eateth and drinketh damnation to himself. So now you drink it and eat damnation to yourself. Because you ain't examined yourself and judge yourself to find out you're not in the faith. The faith in Jesus Christ is keeping his commandments, brother and sister. That's right. Go ahead and read. Not discerning the Lord's body. Not discerning who? The, the Lord's, Lord's body. body. That's what he's trying to get you to remember, understand what he went through. Because that's the whole point we come here for. Every Sabbath day to give honor and we give the Lord glory every time we come in here because he's going to have some. He always having us as far as them with his life. We get that breath when we come in and we make obeisance to God on his holy Sabbath day. It's not because you come just to show off you've been to church. No. You're supposed to give the glory to God. Go ahead. For this cause, many are weak and sickly among you. He said many are weak and sickly, y'all. Mm -hmm. Pay attention. Go ahead. And many sleep. Somebody done died. Coming in and taking this thing on word. Yeah. Understand what it's saying, y'all. Examine yourself. You not, you, hey, if you're not keeping the commandment, doing what that's said, Lord, I would suggest you do it. Get that body right. Get that mind right. You got the next Passover coming. You take that Passover then. But make sure you're righteous with God, though. Keep the commandments of God. Go ahead, brother. For if we would judge ourselves, uh -huh. we should not be judged. That's right. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, uh -huh. that we should not be condemned with the world. So now, if you judge the Lord, he's going to chasten us, let you know you're out of order. That's the whole point you got to understand. Don't think it just, oh, I'm just being, no, you ain't just inflicting. He chastising you to get you back in line to what you need to be as far as being his sheep. And that's what it's all about, keeping y'all in line and keeping y'all in order. Go ahead. What for, my brethren? Uh -huh. When you come together to eat, tarry one for another. Yes. And if any man hungry. If you hungry, that's what it's all about. What do you say do? Let him eat at home. You eat at the house then. Yeah. That ye come not together unto condemnation. So don't come here together unto con condemnation. Because this ain't that kind of party, y'all. This dealing with the, 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 the suffering and also the death of Christ. Not to come here and be like a party. We eat something. We break the bread and all that stuff. No. Get the bread and wine. Hey, Amen. Thank God. Keep it pushing. There ain't no party play. Oh, we got to understand the suffering of Christ. Go ahead. And the rest will I set in order when I come. And when he come back, he's going to set everything in order. That's what he's telling me. When he come back, he's going to set everything in order. Paul will let him know. I'm going to set everything in order, y'all. Right now, I'm just going to tell you about this word. I'm going to tell you about dealing with the Christ suffering and dealing with their past. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Like I said, I pray to God, none of y'all take it unworthy. In Jesus' name. And I thank you for your time. Thank y'all for your help. Always a pleasure to come before y'all. Sorry I was late. Like I said, I'm going to have to call Delta. I need to stop playing with me. But anyway, that. praise God, y'all. Yeah, let me read that part. I got something out of the encyclopedia I'll read right quick. Because we got to deal where the Easter come from, y'all. Got to read about it. Because I, I, I keep me history books out here once in a while. I got me the history book. I'll bring it out. This is from uh, the last two million years. Last two million y'all. years, y'all. Pagan rights absorbed. Yes, sir. 216. Go ahead, brother. By a stroke of tactical genius, the church, while intolerant of pagan beliefs, mm -hmm. was able to harness the powerful emotions generated 
by pagan worship. Uh -huh. Often, churches were cited where temples had stood before it, and many heathen festivals were added to the Christian calendar. So now, we got all these heathen, all these heathen festivals have been added to the Christian what? Calendar. calendar. That's what's going on, y'all. Yeah. That wasn't part of Jesus' word. That's something the heathen brought forth. Mm -hmm. And guess what? We still practicing what the heathen was doing, and we still part of the church, so-called Christianity. And I call it Christian doom. Christian doom. That's what it is. Go ahead and read. Easter, for instance, uh -huh. the time of sacrifice and rebirth in the Christian year. Yes. Takes its name from the Norse goddess, the Ostre, uh -huh. in whose honor rites were held every spring. Yes. She, in turn, was simply a northern version of the Phoenician earth mother, Astarte. Right. Goddess of fertility. Uh -huh. Easter eggs continue an age-old tradition in which the egg is a symbol of birth. And cakes which were eaten to mark the festivals of Astarte and the Ostre were the direct ancestors of our hot cross buns. Yes, sir. So he said, hey, you remember that, man? I ran to some hot cross buns, y'all. I went to the store. I wouldn't think I believe I see that. I saw some hot cross buns. Dealing with the queen of heaven. You hear me? That's why I say you got to pay attention. That's still a part of it. But I just got another excerpt, excerpt to read from y'all. And I just read about it because I hear Boo always say it's about temple prostitution. And I got to read it to you because I found it. It's going to take you a few more minutes of your time. And I'm reading this out, you know what I'm saying? I'm reading it from, they got a book called uh, uh, the Easter, The Worship of a Pagan Sex God. Pagan Sex God. And it talks about, it says, this is how I account of the worship ritual of the sex idol Easter. Let me see, I don't want, I want you to read this. I'll keep reading. He said, Herodotus' account of the worship ritual of the sex idol Easter. The, foul, the foulest Babylonian custom is that which compels every woman of the land to sit in the temple of Aphrodite and have intercourse with some stranger. You hear me? Some stranger once in her life. Many women who are rich and proud disdain to the mingle with the rest drive to, drive to the temple Covered carriages and covered carriages drawn by teens and stand there with a great uh, revenue of attendance, but most sit down in the sacred spot, plot of Aphrodite's with crowns of cord of their hair. You know, you had them little branches, look, look like they had vines around their head. And I remember I seen that once before. I'm like, what do the vines represent? Because they're sitting there, like I said, in the temple of Aphrodite. You'd understand that. And he told you also, he said, but most sit down in the sacred plot, and Aphrodite with crowns of the head, on their heads, and there was a great multitude of women coming and going, passages marked by the line, by the line run every way through the crowd, by which the men pass and make their choice. Once a woman has taken her place there, she does not go away to her home before some stranger has cast money into her lap and had intercourse with her outside the temple. But while he cast the money, he must say, I invite you in the name of my Melita, Melita, that is the Syrian name for Aphrodite. It does not matter what sum the money is, the woman would never refuse, but that would be a sin. Y'all hear me? It say that would be a sin. The money being by this act made sacred. How perverse that is. The, se the sexual sin becomes sacred or an act of holiness. Now you know this can be from God. So she follows the first man who cast it and rejects no one. After the end of course, having discharged her sacred duty to the goddess, she goes away to her home and thereafter there is no bride, however great, no bride, however great that will get her. So that, so then, the women that are fair, tall, and soon free to the part, but the uncomely now, so you know what that means, so the woman ain't looking good and all that kind of stuff, they have long to wait because they cannot fulfill the law. But some of them remain for three years, or four years, because they, I guess they didn't measure up to the looks, and so they had to sit there and just wait. And so that's what happened during the time of Easter. They were Babylonians. So I used to say a boy speak on that, but I had to go back and do the research. Mm -hmm. Ain't that something, though? Mm -hmm. 
one time in your life was sleep with somebody you ain't never knew, and they throw any amount of money in your lap, you got to take it. It could be a dollar fifty cent. I don't know what money was back in the day, but that, that's crazy. And they were practicing that, y'all. So that's why I say knowledge is power, especially knowledge in Jesus, y'all. I thank you for your time. That concludes the message today, and I pray to God's mercy.